Welcome back to Vanguard Tactics, another live stream game tonight. We have the Eldari, man boy, Boo. man like Jake, versus the Grey Knights with Chris the Rhino. Anderson, how are you doing? I am excellent. I'm happy to be here after a weekend of 40k. More 40k is the answer. Amazing. And we'll go, we'll divulge on all the fun from the weekend as we go through the stream. But it wouldn't be a Vanguard Tactics stream without our usual stream team. So, manning the deck tonight, we have Sebi. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Um, we can hear you. Is, oh, but, oh. <laughs> yeah. I am here. The bench warmer, the, um, the main event. The main um, substitute. The second banana, I don't know. Um, Super sub. The main, the main man, the deck man, the, the technological <laughs> wizard. And to his side, we have the son of Baal himself, risen from the dead, from his glorious golden sarcophagus, went to South Coast. Dante didn't really do the exact same <laughs> thing there, but he's here tonight. It is George. How are you, George? Oh, have you know, Dante did quite a bit for me. Okay, well, yeah, really he out of the box. He went in the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah the that, box. that was... He went in the box. <laughs> he represented well. But I'm excited for this game tonight. Uh, we've got some cool things to show off. Um, okay. And obviously, a massive thank you to Play on Tabletop because they have um, helped us with um, improving our stream further, haven't they? Yeah, oh, so... You play... We've got new toys. We do have lots of new toys. And again, massive thank you to Play on for sort of adopting Steve for the week, as we know, <laughs> because, you know, like, he is a handful, uh, that Stephen. But we also have... The notorious LPP, the giggly gate, you can call her what you want, but to be honest, they're all right. And that is Billy with her special little camera, where we're going to get all the awesome shots for you, on top of some new shots with some new toys that Stephen brought back from across the pond. So, some of those toys are pretty scary looking. They, yes, they are. Um, more to be found out about that soon. Um, but let's go into the mission today. So, Jord, yes. what's the mission? So, the mission today is Purge the Foe. So this is actually mission number three from UKTC um, setup. So what we're going to have to do here is you get four points for killing uh, one unit or kill one or more units, four points for killing more units than your opponent, four points for holding one, one or more objectives and four points for holding more objectives than your opponent. So there is a possible 16 points to be scored on primary each turn. Um, you've just got to be outplaying your opponent. Yeah, going second is quite a big advantage in this game. Mm. Uh, not just because of the whole like scoring primary at the end. It's also because you can know when your opponent, like, how many you need to kill, basically. You, you set the person who goes first sets the benchmark. You then just know how you need to catch it. Yeah, I'd love to go second in this game. Yeah, I want to go second as well. Well, actually, no, I want to go. Yeah, I want to go second actually <laughs> as well because I don't want you teleporting. That's a whole other thing. Um, so we've done the mission, so time for army. So who's going to be up first? Well, before we do that, oh. we have had a super chat from Grim Dark Ash. Oh. Uh, he said, a fleeting visit this evening. Um, great to see you all Saturday, especially to properly meet George, Chris and Billy. Catch you all at the Leeds. Go Mystic Jake. Oh, well. Can we have a Mystic Jake from Jake? We can have a Mystic Jake. <laughs> <laughs> um, Whoa. Okay. I don't think I want to know what that meant. No, it's a whole, like, you went there. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Ash, thank you so much. It was a gutting not to see you on the Sunday, um, but I know we'll see you at another event very, very soon. 100%. So with that in mind now, it's time for the army. So who is going to kick off first? It's going to be you. Mystic Jake always has to go first, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully. No. Uh, so in the army today, leading the line, we have the Autark Way Leaper. So that's my warlord. Okay. Um, so this person, because their warlord gives me an extra command point... Probably does some other things that are quite relevant. I, I, I hear they're pretty good. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah. Um, really useful little model there. Next up, I have a Spirit Seer. Yeah, um, they're also pretty good, I hear. They're pretty good as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a Solitaire, which I've never used before. So I don't know what they're like. Uh, we'll find out. Okay. Then I've got a Death Jester with Fate's Messenger, which is, again, very fun and very interesting. Main thing with that, you can turn a dice to a six with him. Oh, brilliant. Once per phase. And one of his abilities, you can give him sustain free. God, I love that. So lots and lots of shots. Um, on top of that as well, the Way Leaper has the Phoenix Gem. So when, first time he dies, two up, gets back up. Fantastic. Which is great. Um, then we've got, oh yeah, the pass here. Your oh. favourite person. Yeah. Um, just free balling it because apparently we have no Warlocks. Uh, which would have been I'm sure that won't come back to bite him today. It would have been great to know before. And then we've got... Going into the rest of the army, we don't have any battle lines, we don't have any time for battle line units. Um, we've got a big unit of 10 Wraith Blades with yep. force axes or ghost axes and force shields. 
T units of five striking scorpions, T units of five warp spiders, five rangers, T units of five fire dragons, and T units of five swing hawks. Now, it's quite a lot. It is quite a lot. Now, all the eagle eyed people may notice I don't have Fagan, my favourite ever Eldar model. Because, yet again, another model I thought we had and we didn't. Well, um, you, you've got them at home, that's why. I don't have them at home. <laughs> I bought all the Eldar I had from the studio. Um, but nevertheless, we're going to, you know, hopefully do well without him. And I'm, gonna, I'm really looking forward to actually getting to use this type of list. Well, I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you, I'm full try. Now, Chris, what about your army? Well, I have the far superior army. Because uh, I brought Grey Knights, and Grey Knights are awesome. They, um, yes, that's very nice. <laughs> leading them out, obviously, Keldor Drago. Um, he's leading a unit of Paladins. I'm also taking a, a Brotherhood Librarian in another unit of Paladins with the Inescapable Wrath uh, Enhancement. It gives him plus one to his charge move. So two units of Paladins at a deep strike will be charging on better than nines. Nice. Fifteen Interceptors because this is how we used to play in ninth, yeah. and, and I quite enjoyed it. I think they're really good as well. I, I think they're really good as well, yeah. yeah. A move, shoot, move. Single unit, five strikes. Uh, there is an assassin, and uh, I, I one other little unit here, which is Castle and Crow, my personal favourite model in uh, Grey Knight range. Um, just hanging out with 10 of his closest purifier buddies. And they all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> they, they might all look the same, but they are painted fantastically. They are painted fantastically, and it's this great This is my see. army. It is your army. I didn't paint it, though. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> like all good armies should. <laughs> like all good armies um, should. Somebody else should paint it and for And is that, is that it all? I think that might be it. Yeah. 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 We've got it all. Amazing. Um, so that's the armies. That's the mission. That's all the sort of introducing people. That's also ribbon on Steve. The only thing we have left to go through, well, we've got two things. The first thing is fixed or tactical? Tactical. Okay, ta tactical as well for me. We're not going to bore you guys. We want to play <laughs> tactical and equally. I'm tired of reading mean comments. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go both go tactical. But the final thing we need to mention before we get into the game is that the Vanguard Tactics Academy is closing for enrolment on Sunday. Well, after it's sold out. Because it's sold out. Now, a lot of you may be sat there and you're already starting to watch your videos and getting all excited. Loads of people have tagged me. It's some amazing learning content. So all the people that have, thank you so much. Now, because of the demand, because of how popular it was, we decided, Stephen has decided to be very, very kind and generous and open 25 more spaces up. So if you want a chance to maybe, you know, when you thought about getting it and then you saw it sold out and you're a bit gutted and you sat there all sad, well, don't worry. We've got 25 more chances to get it right. So and there's some more live lessons to support that yeah, as well, more, to make sure that there's enough capacity. For yeah, everything. so we're going to have more live lessons, more of everything. We were overwhelmed by the support and in the initial intake. We've opened another 25 spaces. But that does close this Sunday, right? So four days from now? I okay. couldn't even tell you what day it is today. Yeah. Probably like four days, right? <laughs> yeah, so yes. check the link in the description. If you guys want to see any of the preview content we do have of the Academy, we have some videos on the channel, which George will happily explain them as we go on to the top down if anyone wants to know about those sort of giving you little sort of snippets and tippets of what you're to expect here at the Vanguard Tax Academy if you do decide to sign up let us know in the chat as well yeah we'll um, keep running total yeah and we'll keep a running total and you can basically make sure to keep the lights on with all the new stuff Steve basically spent on holiday <laughs> so, I know it's what, we're not supposed to call it holiday are we Vacation. Sorry. <laughs> Play on. Very important work trip. <laughs> Very important work trip. But yeah, thank you so much to Play on Tabletop for obviously accommodating Steve. Thank you to everybody that bought the Vanguard Tax Academy. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to it. So. I'm sorry. Um, if you just saw the fireworks go off in the background, <laughs> I have no idea what it's just happened there. Um, no, but nice. yeah, maybe it's just a new effect um, because of like the programs that we've got on here. But yeah, we'll have to look into that. So don't worry, that's not going to be a regular occurrence, I hope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it might be. We'll see. It might right. be. But before we start, guys, we have had a few um, super chats. Right. So the first one was just from was from James Hobbs. And he hasn't put anything, he just put a uh, finger. He put his, uh, his um, fan finger. As I his like fan it. finger. Yeah, his, yeah. Uh, fan his fan finger. finger. A massive shout out to yeah, him as well. I was going to say that. For James Hobbs is the first Vanguard, and I'm happily saying this as well, he's the first Vanguard Tactics player of the UKTC to actually play in the Shadow Round. Yes. Now, we've had others go 5 and 0, Liam, Calabout, Stephen Box, all no names of the community. And at the end of the day, they 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 made it to the shadow round, but sadly couldn't play for whatever reasons. So James, yeah, James like a hero, 
played in the shadow round, sadly lost to David Gaylard, but I personally am really proud of him. So massive shout out to him. So everybody in the chat right now, give him some love because he did it with Tower as well, an army that is not the easiest to sort of get there, especially with all the meta fourth, armies. I think. It was he did finish it. fourth, fourth like good. all good people and football teams. Um, <coughs> and <laughs> yes, George. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it do it? You know, like in iOS, when you put a thumb up, or like when you're on a phone call and you get like the little thumbs pop up yeah. on the screen. It's doing that on um, OBS now. Okay. I don't know. Any more of those super chats then, John. Yeah, more we super can chats. Sort that out in a second. So uh, Ian James has been a member for 23 months. Oh wow! Maybe he said, he "Evening all, back in the grey nights." Sorry, Jake. Also, get well soon, Michael. Yep. Exactly that. Oh, yeah. Get well soon, Michael. Yeah, Get Michael well was supposed to be here today, but sadly, it's a bit under the weather and after the weekend. A few of us are, but I think he's been hit a bit worse by mm. it. Um, so, bet, Michael, if you are watching, get well soon, and I'll see you next week. Otherwise, uh, you know, Steve's probably going to get a bit of <laughs> no sick pay here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, you guys are getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Tesla. <laughs> get back in. <laughs> right, and the next Super Chat is from uh, Dino Life. He said... Hopefully, um, Super Chat will warrant a response. Awesome to meet Jake and Mr. Boxer LVO. Been in the hobby since last August. Love you guys, Forrest. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you as well at the LVO. That was a mad experience. I'm only really just recovered from it, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for your Super Chat. All and right. that's, that's it. So we're ready to play the game. Right. Play some games. Let you go first, Chris. You are... Right. Uh, I'm going to use one of these lovely new play-on dice, which I'm totally not going to steal from the studio today. Well, yeah. well we've got that on camera. That's a two. two. Okay. Mystic Jake, what are you saying? One. Put one in the... Oh. Okay, oh, right, we get to re-roll. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay, just in case anyone doesn't know, I want to go second. I really want to go second. And so does Chris. So this is why we're... We can maybe speak about that a bit more. That's a one. Oh. But Jake, Jake you're well. going to roll a one. Oh, well. <laughs> right. So roll your special so Eldar do dice. My fate dice. So if you're not familiar with how these work, I get to roll six dice before the game, and I'll do that now. Okay, I'm happy uh, with that. Do you know what? I don't really actually need sixes, so I'll just keep that. Um, I can choose to re-roll it, and but every time I do, I lose a dice. So um, what's so that? Three. Uh, a one, a t double two, double four, and a double five. So at any point. That's During the game, I can choose to substitute one of these out. Instead of rolling the dice, I can substitute that dice roll for what's in here. And I've got abilities that can manipulate that as well. Yes, you do. Mainly the faster. Um, and then going into... I don't have... You have scout moves. I do have some scout moves. Yeah. Um, but only here. So okay. while you, you draw, you, I'll, I'll just do this yeah. while you're... Same. La, la, la. And guys, you have to let us know where you're watching from tonight. If you did buy the Vanguard Tactics Academy as well, I'd love to hear how you're getting on as well in the chat. I'm going to do my cards now, Christy. Ready? So I get Area Denial. Not exactly sad about that. And Bring It Down. Uh, maybe a bit sad about that one, but we shall see. Yeah, so Area Denial, you have to keep me out. To, you have to get to the centre of the board yeah. and keep me out of it. Yeah, I just have to be wholly within six inches of the centre. So because I've, I've got my solitaire lone operative deployed there, he can just jump he, there and do that. Comfortably. That's going to be a big five. And then Bring It Down is going to be a whole other story, to be honest. Yep. Turn to a CP, I imagine. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you want to go to the top down, me and mute us, we can get going. We're muted. Oh, well, guys, um, 
Sorry about that. <laughs> well, <laughs> <My bad. laughs> so <laughs> what we were saying is we've got some fancy new cameras. Um, apparently not very good tech. Yeah. Um, new tech. <laughs> new uh, tech. Same issues. Yeah. So basically, we can now zoom into different areas of the board. So what you're seeing now is the bottom right. Um, so this is obviously we're just zoomed in a little bit further from the top down. So we can just have the normal top down, show you the entire board. Or we can go to the bottom. So this is obviously where Jake's working at the minute. So yeah, pretty sick. It wasn't me. I didn't. I Joe, didn't why press you do mute. That? What the hell? It man? was Sebastian <laughs> this time. Okay, bro. It, it wasn't me. Okay? Every time, it's always you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm busy sorting out the scores and everything. Okay. Yeah, it was me. My bad. Yeah, guys. yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah, we need to sort some stuff out in OBS. That was really annoying. But um, yeah. forget about it for this. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll sort it out when they when they actually go back to them. Um. But probably not. <laughs> probably not. Um, I don't think we have time for it this stream. No. But anyway, looking into this game, Eldari v Grey Knights. It's an Any first one. thoughts, first impressions? What are you thinking? I think it's an interesting list from Jake. Right. I think just looking. So obviously we were all at the South Coast Super Major this weekend. Um, there was all the Eldari armies have kind of shifted now because of like the meta has shifted with the Eldari. Yeah. Um, because of the changes from the balance data slate. So looking at a lot of the lists, there's a lot of MSU Eldari armies. Right. So we're, we're by MSU, if you don't know what that means, it's um, multiple small units. Yeah. So just seeing these small five-man units that are really cheap, and you can see how many units Jake's actually got at his disposal here just by... I mean, he's got the one big unit of the Wraith Blades. Yep. But the rest of it is all small, smaller units of uh, Aspect Warriors. Yeah. Um. So it's going to be interesting to see how they perform because these are actually all all the good Aspect Warriors, really. Um, wow. In the game in a minute, because Howling Banshees, <laughs> Poor unfortunately, Howling Banshees, yeah. Um, then they're, they're not quite up to it. Shining Spears, again, another unit that's not really up to it. Dire Avengers are okay. Yeah. Not bad. They they work better though when you actually take. Azaman. Yeah. Um, I mean, they rely on Overwatch as well, which is a bit like of a, a gimmick to rely on, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah. So, and they're not exactly a unit you want to be Overwatching with, I guess. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. But yeah, the army that Jake's got out is really strong. But the Grey Knights, it's also a very strong army. Yeah. Um. I don't really know much about Grey Knights, other than that they teleport around and... So yeah, Generally. so Grey Knights can come off the board um, at yeah. the end of the, your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. um, so you can take it up to three units off the board, bring them back. Um, so it makes the army very maneuverable. And then now you are seeing multiple factions with this ability. Like, I mean, the Necrons have it now. Yeah, true. The um, Hypercrypt the Legions, the So it, it's becoming quite a, a strong rule. And Grey Knights themselves, they, they've, they've struggled in 10th because yeah. they haven't got anything that can really focus down on vehicles. Um, right, yeah. They have had a buff on their Dread Knights, which now are hitting better, which they should do. But, um, so, uh, I thought MSU was minimum-sized units. It might be minimum. I probably am wrong. Um, no, I think it is mass. Multiple? Like multiple. Multiple, multiple small, small units. units. I thought it's multiple small units. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, yeah. everyone else is confirming. Right. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, so... Yeah, the, the Grey Knights are really strong. Their rule is they can auto advance six. Yeah. And they can go through buildings. They basically get the fly keyword. That's pretty if, nice. If I'm correct in saying. That's right, isn't it, Chris? They auto advance six and... They auto advance six and, can, and gain the fly keyword. Yeah, yeah. So they auto advance six and gain the fly keyword. Which means that there's nothing, there's nothing stopping them from going across You can't really move block them. You, you can't block them for where they want to go unless you're, I suppose, blocking... Just like the whole at quarter or something. Yeah, I mean, what you it can't does land on another model, for example. No, no, and the dread knight couldn't go through a building. Still, mm. you still got to go up and down. Yeah. Um, but what it does mean is you are getting really far movement. Um, and there are quite a few assault weapons in the army, which mm. is good. Nice. Well, it looks like Jake's done. So let's see what's going on. Well, not a lot. Nope, hold on. To be honest, I've got the fear of God in me because <laughs> I don't want Chris to one miss of Demos. So if you're not familiar with what that does, it means if I end a move within nine inches of a Grey Knight unit, he can just leave. 
<laughs> like yeah. One CP, I can take it and put it in yeah. Deep Strike. And it is any unit. So it's any Psyche unit. Any Psyche unit. So, so it wouldn't work on a Land Raider, for example, but it does work on a Dread Knight. Yeah. So that's basically what I've been measuring out is, you know, can I get in Melter range? No, because otherwise you'll miss the Demos. Um, so I'm just going to have to rely on the shooting, basically, uh, without Melter and maybe some fake dice if I need it. Uh, main things to note, I advanced the Warp Spiders over here just to make sure they were in this little crater thing. Um, and then the other thing I've done is I've actually moved the warp spiders that are in here. I flick a jump them to make sure they all got the movement. So if Chris does want to deep strike three inches here or here, I can at least do something about it. So he can't get in here, he can't get line of sight without potentially getting an overwatch. So we're going to give that a go. We'll see. I'll get my laser out in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, other thing as well, Solitaire's just moved up to the wall. Uh, all of them are within an inch of the wall. So again, if Chris wants to charge me, he's more than welcome to. Um, but the solitaire is getting me area denial for five, so that's not going to change. Now we're just going to try and get bring it down, and then we'll see how it goes. Be very worried. So um, if I can have some dice, please. You've got all the dice that side, Chris. So if you can reach from there. No, you <laughs> might give me the dice. <laughs> right. So I've got four dice from the melters. So we'll start off with those. So this is going to be freeze to hit, and what's the toughness? Toughness eight. Toughness eight. So it's going to be freeze to wound, re-rolling ones to wound. Yeah. Because four you are up a monster. So freeze to hit. So two hits, uh, freeze to wound, so two wounds, and these are minus four. Uh, I just confidently said four up in vans, because it's correct. Yeah. Ah, that's it. It feels like playing for <laughs> studies again. It's yeah. great. Uh, and then finally I've got the fire pike, this dude's a bit better. So he hits, he wounds, this is minus four. And he's fine as well. So that's that. Um, so there's nothing else I could do. So I'm not going to get kill anything, which is really harsh um, for me. Uh, sadly, those D cannons, anyway, they are great in direct. Everyone's scared about 24 inches. It's not the most ideal thing on turn one. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for my turn. I will get five on area denial. I'm going to I'm going to sack off, bring it down for a command point. So going into so Chris's turn. Can you take a third command point? Turn. Don't you? Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Because it's of your the, autark the things have already gained one, yeah. So I only have three um, yep. going into Chris's turn, yep. but I'm still going to sack off Bring It Down because I want to get through some yeah. better so cards. Before your turn finishes, I've got to select three units of current or up to three units on the table to take off and they come back it next turn, um, as in in my yeah, first Yeah, they're going to come back Yeah, They'll come back immediately. Yeah. Um, so on that basis, I'm going to pick up Crestle and Crows. Yeah. Lovely unit of chaps. Um, I'm going to pick up. Well, that's probably it, to be honest. Uh, no, we'll pick up one unit of... No, well, that's it. We, we need the rest on the table. Cool. Nice one. Cool. So then going into your turn, you're yep. going to get an extra command point. Up to two. And then cards-wise... What do we think? What do we think? Can I go for a turn <coughs> one capture enemy outpost? <laughs> the Matt Laura. Uh, Cleanse? Maybe not. That's not exactly... Cleanse is... Okay. That, that's a good one, but... Jay. An area denial. An area denial. Uh, you didn't use your re-roll for the missed hit? Oh, um... We'll roll another one then. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Can't change I always like oh. to think, is karma, the moment you forget it and someone says about it, it will always not work. So. Um, okay, so I will go into my movement phase if you want to go back to top down and mute me. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, well. Uh, <laughs> just a staging turn, really, from Jake there. That's usually how these turns go, but the thing is... Um, this could be a big swing for Chris yeah. because one of the parameters for the mission is to s kill one unit or kill more than your opponent. So because Jake hasn't killed anything, there are some fire dragons right in the middle here. If Chris can kill them, that's eight points for him this turn. Yeah, that's pretty big, actually. Um, so it's it's always like a... This mission's a difficult one, turn one. You ne you you want to be able... If you're going to expose yourself, you want to be able to kill... Which Jake has been, yeah. he, he's been unlucky here, but... That that's always the the risk you take on that first turn of purge the foe. Yeah. Um. But we'll see how it plays out. The fire dragons do still have a three up save, so they're not like the weakest of like defense. Yeah, they are durable. -ish. Um, um. For Eldari, anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So there was a question in the chat, um, which I wanted to answer. Okay. Um. So from Will, we said I have a question about the Tyranid Masterclass. Uh, was just wondering if it was designed by a person who primarily plays Nids, uh, planning to sign up after payday and would love to know more about it. Um, and if it's suitable for fairly newish players, had a 16-year break from playing 40k, so things have changed a lot since then as well. Um, so the Masterclass um, is definitely going to be 
worth it for you if you are getting into Tyranids because it goes through everything for um, for a Tyranid player. It yep. was designed by uh, Michael, who is our head of education, and he has played Tyranids for a very long time. Yeah, he, he, he he's has, got yeah. he's got a passion for the for the Nids, so it's definitely got got someone on. Um, Ho- holding it together, right? Familiar. Familiar with the army, that's yeah. what I meant to say. Um, Mike took them to a team tournament not long ago I, as well. Yeah, 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 and did really well. Did really well. Um, so, yeah, definitely got, got that going. But if you are interested, I think someone did say, uh, King Joffrey did say, that we do actually have a preview masterclass of the Vanguard attachment on the channel. Um, so if you wanted to, just check that out on the channel. There is basically one of the lessons on there for free to yeah. see what it's like. The Vanguard um, attachment of the Tyranids. Of yeah. the Tyranids, yeah, exactly. Um, and, and it's not the full um, module on the Vanguard attachment. It's just elements of it so you can see what it's like. It's, it's a taster, basically. Yeah, I like that. And uh, Will, if you're new to 10th edition as a whole, yeah. um, I think we have a Learn to Play video yeah. as well. Yes, we do. Uh, yeah. So check that out. And if you like what you see and you really want to get into this edition... Uh, check out our accelerator course as well. Uh, it it's, the, it's the start playing. Start playing. The start playing course. Yeah, the start playing course will be your your best if you haven't if you're still wanting to get into the rules and stuff like that. I don't know how many games you've played and stuff yet. So, um, but the start playing is definitely a a great way that I would recommend to yeah to get into the game. Anyway, let's see what's going on on top. Yeah. Down. So I mean, Chris is measuring out. What do you think he needs to do here? Try and just pull out. Get get over there. Get those fire dragons and. I think going for the kill. Yeah. Just going going for the kill. And then um, he's going to just try and hold that middle objective. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just holding. I think no matter what, Jake's going to be coming out with a lot of assets next turn. Yeah. Um, but if Chris can get them eight points now and score some decent points on the secondaries, it's a big swing because later on in the game, it's, it's not easy to keep killing loads of units, especially if you look at the unit um, spread here. Jake's got a lot more smaller units than Chris. Yeah. So, obviously, he's got more options for Chris to get kill more on, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. It's and, and they're all toughness free across, like, the infantry with Eldari because they're quite weak. There's now. a lot of Storm Bolters coming his way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which means that Strength 4 Storm Bolters going into toughness 3 Eldari. Oh, no. It's, <laughs> no way. Bolters. It, bolters <laughs> actually have a have a use here, mate. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Um, but yeah. we saw the ability, as we were mentioning earlier, with the Grey Knights of actually coming off the board. Um, so we saw that Chris took some units off. Um, and yeah, I think we're actually going to show a camera here. No, I think oh. Billy's wondering if um, her camera's blocking um, oh. the side cam, but we're all good. Um, yeah. Yeah, nice. What happens if Jake turns the turret on the grav tank? Where does he measure from for movement? Um, that's a bit of a weird one. You get really deep into that. Um, you'd actually what was need that? Uh, this right here, the uh, movement on the turret of a grav tank. So if he wanted to move it. Oh, so what happens if Jake turns the turret on the grav tank? Where does he measure for the movement? <laughs> Chris, Chris just said, "Shut up!" Yeah, he said, "Shut up." <laughs> James Hobbs. <laughs> He's asking. You should have known that. Yeah. <laughs> um, They're trying to get a ride out. Yeah. That makes literally no difference. <laughs> <laughs> That's not actually the t anyway. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not starting I'm not my round again. again. <laughs> Looks like Steve's in chat. Messaging After on he just alcohol. left. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, get to sleep. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to stay because of whatever made up reason. Now <laughs> he just stayed in his car outside. He hasn't. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't actually <laughs> left yet. <laughs> cool, uh, Chris, are you done? Uh, I am. Yeah. So Jake is going to do a reactive move um, with Phantasm. Yeah. So Phantasm had a big change. <laughs> Phantasm time. Where are we going? Clock to you. Don't know. What's changed with Phantasm? So it now is a D6 move, not a 7. Well, not up to 7 inch move. So I can't just... Print. What's the AC of this guy? Uh, the OC of him is... Uh, is 4. More than f okay. I was like, I uh, could he continue. can also still charge. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I will Phantasm the Wraith Blades. Okay. So, so you need a 6 to clear the wall. Yeah, so we've... Is, am I unmuted? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, we so when, when I so the main in... thing is when when we were discussing the three inch deep strike, we've measured this, oh, sorry, I'm just... the wraith blades, and if I roll a six, they can all get to the other side of the wall. 
which means that then... My anti-inventory to our weapons aren't going to yeah. be able to hit them. Um, in a way, I don't want them all to get the other side of the wall, but we'll have to see. So let's see what I roll. Let's see what I roll. It's a five, so oh, one, one less. So it will literally be like one does not get on. But what I'm going to do is... Five. So just a thing, we've got play on tabletop in hey. the chat so a massive thank you to you guys you've helped us improve our setup immensely um and we wouldn't be able to have um the quality streams that we do now without your help so yeah. massive thank you to you guys yeah i want to crop into the top down but there's no point yeah because <laughs> he's right in the middle um, <laughs> have you got precision no okay that's fine so I suppose it can well not not with them anyway uh, so, Adapt UK has been a member for 24 months. Oh, thank you. Uh, he said, loving the new additions to the setup. Great to see how much the quality of content has come on over the last few years. Amazing. Yeah, it's it's been cool. insane how um, much we've, we've okay, come so along. Okay, so I'm going to start shooting. Oh. So, yeah, so I phantasm over there. I've got one wraith guard, wraith blade who couldn't clear the wall. <laughs> Very right. sad. So um, first thing I'm going to do is shoot this unit of interceptors here. Yeah at your scorpions that only two of them can see. Yeah. But the reason I need to do that is because after they shoot, then they can make another move. So on threes, well, and then threes. Or anything, so. uh, yeah. Yep, uh, threes. Uh, four. Uh, four saves, they're just bolters. So I get a three up save. Yeah. Look at that uh, formation. Two, I'll just scorpions. kill the, mm. the, all, the X arc off. Off Ooh. that, <clears throat> yeah. And then I move six inches after I shoot because I am one speedy boy. Now that means I'm not allowed to charge. Good day, Thank you. God. <laughs> um, now, Castle and Crow's unit that dropped in is gonna do a load of shooting. Yeah. Um, so basically, the way I'm gonna split it is all of their psychic attacks mm -hmm. are gonna go into your Wraith Blades, um, and then half the squad will shoot the Rangers, and the other half will shoot the uh, scorpions. scorpions. Nice. Keeping it simple. Yeah, so I've got stealth on the rangers, but other than that. So I'll be hitting them on fours instead of threes. Just check them in 12 or. Uh, so. Or tell me how many are. Uh, have they got like special weapons? Uh, no, uh, yes. So the, there are four like silencers. So. So, so the three bolters here are in 12. So three bolters in 12, so yeah. that's 12 and then, shots. But then the other two are special weapons, so you could put... And then, so two silences there and two silences Yeah, here. that's cool. Yeah. So bolters first. Uh, so these are on fours. Mm -hmm. Okay, not, not terrible. Not great, not terrible. Well, it's exactly average. <laughs> three. Uh, three wins. Uh, so no, no AP. AP. So I'll take it on the guys in cover, so four up. Uh, one dead. One so far. Um, okay, and then two silencers. So a silencer gets six shots. Yeah. So 12 shots. And they're sustained one. <laughs> so is this into the rangers this as well? Is, yeah, still the rangers. Okay, so one comes back in. Yep. I think it's strength six, I want to say. Uh, no, it's strength five, so still three. So three, yeah. Any AP? Uh, this is no AP, one damage. Okay, so three of them get cover. We can get cover. <laughs> yeah, All right, never mind then. <laughs> um, and then while I've got the silencer dice out, um, I'll do this into the scorpions. Yep. These are on threes. Scorpio. One comes back in for sustained. Mm -hmm. Three is to wound. Uh, I'll just get a three up. Just three ups, yeah. I'll roll three at a time. So if I'm one. One so I far. just want one <laughs> alive, that's all I want. Just one. And then the bolters. And then three. Three, yeah. Very good. So I'm gonna roll two at a time. So one's dead. Oh, three up. <laughs> so we got that. That's lucky, no. <laughs> So you'll get a kill. So I got killed. But what? most importantly, I'm now not going to get a hold more. Um, and now I'm going to do all the psychic attacks. So the purifiers usually get one shot each with purifying flame. Mm -hmm. But because they've got uh, Castle and Crow in the squad, his like, leader ability means they get two shots each. Nice. So you'll get so 20 shots. 20 each. shots from them, and then he gets some more. I think it might be three or two, but I'll double check. Nice. Um, so 20 regular ones, first of all. Hitting on... 
threes. Cool. Yeah. Chris. Hello. Um, so Paul Reed has just said, could you please let Chris <laughs> know his old school friend Paul is watching and sincerely hopes that the Eldari win. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to school with Paul um, and I haven't seen him in probably 10 years now. Um, but it's good to know that after 10 years, um, <laughs> he still has absolutely no affection for me whatsoever <laughs> and wants to see me publicly shamed. So thank you for that, Paul. Um, but it's good, it's good to hear from you again. Um, and on behalf of Paul, <laughs> we're going to give it a good go. <laughs> um, so when Paul and I used to play, God, we must have been 14 or 15 years old, um, kind of in, in like one of the spare bedrooms. Um, and you know we used to have great fun, um, yeah. but talk about a different style of forty k because you know pocket money armies is what we. Oh yeah, them. and yeah. like we just enjoyed it at that point. Yeah. Not like you know. <laughs> not like now. Yeah. We not like now it. where it's we all serious it. and yeah. you know you've got to bring the right stuff. So your toughness seven and minus, and minus one, one to wound, but your anti infantry yeah. two up. So that many saves, um, AP1 ignoring cover. Okay, so this is going to be three ups. So I'll start on the one that's in the building and then just work my way backwards. Yeah, so three up. Damage? Just the one. So one dead. Okay, and then Castle and Crow. Um, so he gets three attacks with Purifying Flame normally, mm. and because he's in the unit, plus he one. And he's a better, they hit on twos. Nice. Uh, no, that, yeah, they do, they do, sorry. Uh, twos, four all more saves. All the same. All the same, uh, yeah. All fun. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Well, it was for me. I enjoyed it. I don't know how, I don't know how you feel about it. But I, oh, I quite liked it. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, next up, these five interceptors here are going to shoot the fire dragons right in front of them. Yep. Um, so that's 20 shots at this range. 5, 10, 15, 12. It's almost like I had them ready. So shooting at the fire They're dragons, shooting at the yeah? little unit of fire dragons in front of them, yeah. So looking for threes. And threes again. Threes, yeah. There you go. Cool. Uh, I'll just take these on the normal guys first. Yeah. Three, up. Uh, three die. Three dead. Cool. Then they can move another six inches because of their special um, jumpy jumpy rule, which will just have them come back here. Turns out move shoot moves a lot of fun. It is, yeah. I do. I do quite enjoy it. I'll get to do some of that as well through stratagems, but um, I don't have exactly like the shadow spectres and scourges <laughs> that we were seeing, which um, is mega good. So next up, I'm going to use the Dreadnought in the middle. So he's going to use his uh, Flamer yep. um, on the two remaining fire dragons um, and his heavy side cannon, his newly improved heavy side cannon Insane. on your transport. Nice. So we'll do the heavy side cannon first of all. So six shots in on twos. It's a good start. Uh, I think it's strength 10, I want to say. Uh, I believe a wave serves like toughness eight or something. So three. It's toughness nine. So, so yeah. three. And this ignores cover. AP2 ignoring cover. So yeah. five up. Uh, three failed damage. Uh, six damage total. So down to seven. Uh, can I have some? <laughs> can I have the IKEA bag? <laughs> you can have the IKEA bag of <laughs> token dice, yeah. Um, so I. Do... So the heavy incinerator is 2d6 auto hits on your fire dragons. Oh. So five, strength six, so twos. Uh, yep. Okay, oh. uh, just as well. Uh, this is AP1 ignoring cover. So four up, uh, they're all dead. Gotcha. Very sad. So you'll get two kills, but I, it doesn't really. You, you just uh, I've got kill more so, essentially, yeah. yeah. Oh, I already had you, right. Uh, why yeah. is there a random vote town hiding? No, <laughs> that's my little man. What? He's sitting up here now. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, it's Joffrey. Little Joffers. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> Speechless. This guy, although he could shoot, yeah. he's probably just going to cleanse here. Yeah? Well, they get you No, because I, I can take the... I can get an extra CP. So he won't. He will shoot everything at your... Um, at your trap. At Joffrey. Okay. Oh. What was the other card you got? Uh, uh, error denial. Error denial. So, so I'll get the little one for being there, but not the... You won't get... I don't believe you'll get the little one. Will you? Do I have to be holy within three? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, you're right. It's within. Um, okay, never mind. Yeah, I will just cleanse over. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And get so rid of just get you some points. So you'll get three yeah, for cleanse. I'll get three for cleanse because um, I'm only on the one objective. Yeah. Like. That's right. That was the other reason for phantasming. So. Yeah, Not which nice. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, I think that might be all my shooting. Oh no, we've got the Vindicare Assassin. Can you see anyone? Uh, Where is what? he? Oh, he, he's, he's up here. here. Oh. So he'll take a shot he, into he's, the... You know uh, what, he's going to chill with Joffrey. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> the, uh, it's like the, the astronaut <laughs> meme, isn't it? <laughs> with a gun behind there, This is the, um, this is the uh, like, take your trainee to work <laughs> day. Take your kids to work. Take your kids to work, yeah. yeah. Um, so he's just going to take a shot at the transport um, because that's all he can see. Yeah. And uh, the big six. <laughs> and like, oh, no. <laughs> So, uh, one shot. Yeah. That hits. Uh, it's strength seven, so it'll be five. Yeah. No. Okay. Cool. Good job. Good talk. Good talk. Um, charges then. Yeah. Um, if I don't charge you, you're just going to charge me. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to charge you, and I'm going to tank shot you. Nice. So um, you, you're in. Yeah. And because, <laughs> because Walker's tank <laughs> shot is doing. really fair, and I quite enjoy it. So I have a Nemesis Greatsword, so I get 10 dice, yeah. plus an extra two because my strength's higher than your toughness. And every five is going to be a mortal wound. So 8, 10, 12 to six maximum, yeah? Yeah, so it's a maximum of six, so five ups. Can I roll six five ups on 12 dice? Uh, I tried, four. I got four. So four kills one and puts one on two. Okay, well, I'm all right, I'm all right, happy with that. Um, so that's my only CP used. Uh, and now I have five attacks hitting on threes. Threes is a data card, but did they change? I think it might be two. I don't think he, I think he's shooting hits on them. You know what? There. I had the Warhammer app right here. Yeah, that's why I like So we can find out. <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, with about a million changes that's happened from data, like, especially for Eldar. <laughs> oh, the cards make no, no, no sense real difference. Um, yeah. No, you're right. They're hitting on threes. Uh, no, uh, they're hitting on twos. No, they are hitting. On yeah, three. the great hammer still on threes, but the great oh, sword has okay. moved to twos. That was the fan favourite of Mr. Ed Watts. Another shout out I need to give to him as well. It's second. Yeah, second with Grey Knights. Your win is coming. I got to watch that as well, and he's a lovely, lovely guy. So, so twos. Uh, unfortunately, there's no there's no explosions Strength or anything. Ten. Strength ten, so, so it would be threes, threes but, but now fours. Fours because of my rule. Yeah, silly rule. Uh, my ability is advanced charge. Okay, three. Uh, it's probably only AP two. I, I just have a, I have four up involved. So, All right. Uh, two failed, so I presume two die from that. It is a great uh, sword. Uh, well, it might not be as good as you think. No. Um, <laughs> D six damage. Okay, so, so one's on one, two. Okay, so, so the first one is dead. Yeah, and then another one is so, dead. Cool. So two die. Uh, so on four pluses, they'll get to fight. Oh, no. So one gets to fight. Oh, so I'll just no. put his attacks in. So yeah, I'll do it all now, because you'll hit me back. So I'll essentially get uh, seven attacks. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. And so, so you hit me on fours natively. So fours natively, spirit seekers be plus one hit and lethal. Okay. So it's going to be freeze with lethal. So give me those, give me those lethals. I'll hold on to those you for have you. Those and I missed. Just put them in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you need you need seven more than we've <laughs> one. Uh, toughness eight. Toughness eight. So, so five. five. Uh, so another five. So seven total. Seven saves. And these are minus two two damage. Okay, so two up saves. I'm on my four ups. So. Okay, so I failed three, so I take six. Yep. And they then, flat, they're flat too. They're, they're just flat too. Yeah. And then Spirit Seer, uh, one hit, one wound, no AP. <laughs> <Six>. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. Uh, where's the Ikea bag? Oh, yeah. You can have the Ikea bag. The Ikea bag. So I've taken six, 13 wounds, so I've got seven left. Seven. Nice. Um, happy with that? I think that's a reasonable, reasonable. Jake, turn. use your rerolls, mate. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. Go on, roll the miss. Did you replay the old R? <laughs> so roll the dice for the miss. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, and roll another one for a failed wound. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, can't change again, the past. You can't change the past. Can't change um, the past. Cool. That's everything. Cool. Then. So at the end of that, I gain three points for cleanse. Yep. Um, I'm going to get rid of area denial for a CP, put him into one. Yep. And, and then you get kill and you get kill more. Kill, kill more. Yeah. So going into so my... eight primary. Yeah. So again, into my turn two, I'll get four. How many CP are you both on? I'll be on four now going into And I'm going turn. up to two. Treat yourself, Jake. Then cards, so I'll have, I'll hold at least one objective. So that gets me four. 
Um, uh, do you hold more? No, we hold no, the same. We hold the same. Um, other things in the command phase, Spirit Sid brings a Wraith, Wraith Blade back. Oh, here we are. Uh, and then um, cards. So, capture enemy outpost, weirdly could happen. <laughs> Come on, tell me how you're going to do that. You've got a monolith somewhere. Well, no, I've got something a bit different. Oh, uh, no. And I've got secure no man's land. That's again, very, very doable. Very doable. Very doable. Um, right, if you want to go to the top down and I'll do some reading to see how I can get capture enemy outpost. <laughs> okay. Um, all good. All right, well, um, just give me a second. I need to uh, adjust the camera. Oh, sorry. I was just reading the chat. Um, Steve's told me to ban Kobe. Sorry, um, Kobe. Um, I'm going to have to ban you. Um, so, bye, mate. I'll see you when I'm home. <laughs> um, <laughs> so there's a big debate in the minute about Lord of the Rings well I wouldn't say debate it's just Kobe's saying that Lord of the Rings was rubbish and then everyone in chat basically is just attacking him for it and <laughs> rightly so to be honest rightly so um, so yeah but play on tabletop I've just said speaking of Lord of the Rings Stephen Box was part of our biggest production of Middle Earth battle strategy we've done going to take us a bit of time to edit that monster honestly it looked absolutely amazing they yeah. did the battle of helm's deep and it looks amazing oh, i genuinely can't wait to watch that i'm hyped yeah, yeah. it yeah. seems like they've got all kinds of cool stuff coming yeah so guys make sure you go if you haven't already which i'm sure you probably have but go and subscribe to play on and wait for that mm. epic battle and check out the stream that uh, steve's been on the games they've been doing already like, yeah they're they're out like yeah exactly yeah, so exactly stuff yep um, um so yeah definitely that yeah, definitely yeah. the hobbit was better oh that's a big debate guys let Start us know in the poll. chat yeah Come right <laughs> here we go right we're gonna have to find out what was better you got caps lock on yep it deserves to be in caps oh, this one. you did that on purpose <laughs> the hobbit or lord of the rings there we go right daz don't say that. Lord of the what? Come on. Come on, Daz. You're better than that. Don't oh, go down to Kobe's level. Give me my ticket back. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go down to Kobe's level. Okay. Um, Lord of the Rings is about some people fighting Darth Vader. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I think you're missing some serious content. Yeah, I, I think I think that, that was not Lord of the Rings. Um, <laughs> no, I love Star Trek. Um, the Hobbit was good, but Lord of the Rings. Do you know what? I think... And this is my hot take on The Hobbit. Oh, okay. I think if The Hobbit followed Lord of the Rings and used more practical effects, it would have been better. Rather than CGI. Because there was so much CGI in it, it didn't feel as good as The Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And the story's better than Lord of the Rings. I but, agree. It's but, like Alien 3 compared to Alien 1 and 2 as Right, well. okay. Yeah. Uh, aliens, rather. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I yeah. agree, actually. Yeah, Episode exactly. 1 was the best Star Wars. I think Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars film. Yep. Oh, Chris is uh, nodding. And anyway, uh, Vanguard Tactics said, I'm back to 40k. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, we went off on a bit of a tangent. Mm, that's new Star Wars. Um, <laughs> right, so we need to talk about 40k. Come yes, on, back, back to 40k. Back to, oh, back to focus, 40k. Focus, John. Focus. <sighs> so, um, <laughs> what's going big on? Term from, <laughs> big turn from, from um, Chris there. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's just scored the big eight, like we said. Yeah, yeah. Still scored some on his secondaries, which is good. Um, and also, I think the one benefit of going tactical is actually getting that extra CP. Um, most of the time, turn one, you are getting an extra CP because you don't... It's really hard to score both cards, mm. turn one. And sometimes it actually makes more sense to not achieve one of the cards to get the CP. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I think... I think what we need to do is end this poll um, because it's it's very it's obvious. It's very yeah. obvious that the Lord of the Rings is better than the Hobbit. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people agree with me on Rogue One being yeah. the best. Yeah, exactly. Um, Alien Three is actually better than Alien One Two. Start a new poll. Yeah. Um, as you can see, up in the top right, we've got some sweeping hawks have dropped down. Yep, yeah, sweeping hawks they're are down now. They're going to go for um, so that secondary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't the name of it. Jake, what secondary did you get? Capture enemy outpost and secure no man's land. Okay, so Jake's got capture enemy outpost and secure no man's land. So zero primary rotter. Basically, what we need to do here, Seb, I don't know. Jake basically needs to take Chris's home objective, which yeah. doesn't look very possible. Um, it's a very tough card to score, but might Jake might pull out some. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got it. Oh, right. Okay. Well, I didn't realise he's actually got it, but. 
<laughs> you're uh, you're muted, but yeah. Um, um, so yeah, uh, basically, we've also got to get secure no man's land, which mm. is hold one objective in no man's land and hold two objectives in no man's land. So if you hold one, you get th- uh, two points. If you hold two or more, you get five points. Right. So it's very achievable for Jake. However, again, we're going to see the issue of overextending on this mission, right? Yeah. Like you've just said yeah. earlier. Um, so we'll see what Chris will do to punch back with that as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, this is it. It's Jake's got to make sure that he's he's putting the hurt down on Chris here. He's got to, he's got to kill a couple of units just to make sure he's getting at least the four points for kill one unit. Yeah. Um, and then making it not easy for Chris to then score another eight points on that um, by not sacrificing too many of his units. But it's it's a really tough one for these small unit armies, like these MSU armies. Um, like, Tyranny is really struggle on this one. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, because you're so easy to take down. Like, it's easy, easy to, to trade t- your units up. Yeah. Your, especially if you go... If you're going second, you can yeah. always match up to what your opponents. Well, done, this is right? it. This is why they were saying at the start of the game that they wanted to go second, both of them, because yeah. the person going second and purge the foe is better to be the reactive player in this rather than the aggressor, um, because that allows you to then take the initiative. Yeah. Well, um, it looks like they're done. So. All right. Let's hear from them ourselves. All right. So your main thing is to know pay, pay one CP so I could. Uh, retreat and feign or whatever it's called so basically the wraith blades can retreat and do everything normally um and i've got enough oc on that objective i still have it over chris yeah um then he didn't elect uh, with mr demos at that Not point there, no. um, but then when i moved the fire dragons onto this objective the dread knight decided to leave yeah he, he, d- <laughs> discretion's a better part of valor there he's out yeah um Warp Spiders will now come out knowing the Dread Knight can't bounce, so I can maybe put some flamings into it. If I do have, to, if I can charge it, I will. Yep. Um, but I ideally want to get it down to about two wounds before I engage it again. Makes sense. Um, main things that happened, so Swooping Hawks came down, and because of, Chris had a look at it as well, because of Fire and Fade, it means I can shoot the Inceptors here and move 12 inches onto the bone backfield objective and get uh, Crackling yeah, out. Yeah, nice. Okay. Don't need to like it, just need to agree it's legal. It, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Where's to live by? Um, and then we've got Solitaire's just sort of got up here. Wayleaper's got up here. Death Jester's got up here. D Cannons are looking at them. Rangers are looking at them. Um, and then I spent another CP. Yeah. And Rapid Ingress. So Rapid Ingress onto here because Jake's about no primary otherwise. Yeah. So at least it gets you the four. Um, my idea is hopefully to kill maybe three units if I get really lucky. Two at push, definitely one. Um, so I can at least get some kill, but again... Yeah, you, and you've got to keep difficult. keep scoring, keep get, keep killing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's start out with the main thing. So the thing we spoke about the most, Swooping Hawks shooting the Inceptors. Yeah. So it's going to be 21 shots. Ugh. That's a lot. Um, I'll do... I have to do them 16 and 5, because one of them wounds on 4s, the other wounds on 5s. Okay. So I'll do that first. So into the Inceptors here. Freeze. So one hit. Fours. You could use a reroll there. Oh, uh, yeah, why not? One hit. Uh, so two wounds. AP? Uh, AP nothing. So if I just roll all these as well. These are all lethal as well. I used to reroll to hit. Five to wound, I can reroll the wound. So three, so total is going to be five saves. Five, saves. five two ups. Yeah. Failed one, one of the insects takes a wound. Get in there, and I'll pay two CP. I may fire and fade. And that is capture enemy outposts, turn two. two. Wow. It's no Matt Laura. It's no Matt Laura, I will give it credit. But um, it's a J carding. It is, yeah. Uh, so that puts <laughs> the you same but different. CP. Yeah, one CP. Um, so let's do the rest of the shooting. So Warp Spiders will shoot the Dread Knight. So this is going to be 66 shots. Um, so 10, 10 15, uh, 19. 19. So 6, 9, 9. And then, so then, with that in there, only seven sixes. <laughs> Don't Four. you dare. Oh, you. Five sixes. Person. And it's just. <laughs> and I can reroll one. No, so, yeah, just five. So, deaths. just five wounds. Ugh. Yeah. That's all right. I've got two left. I'll shoot the wave serpent at him now. Oh. So, wave serpent gets twin shuriken cannon, um, and then a shuriken catapult. Catapult, is that right? Is that what he has? Yeah, so I'll do the car- catapult first, or cannon first. So freeze, or you will hit. And then fives. OK, 
to re-roll a wound. Well, I can re-roll it because it's twin linked. One at minus one, and this is two damage. Okay, uh, I'm not in cover, am I? So three up, we're fine. Oh, and then the catapult thing. Uh, oh. Oh, these don't have sustain, damn it. Uh, and then twin linked. Uh, one at no AP. Uh, minus one, sorry. Is it fine? Um, and then do I just use its rule now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to use its serpent shield at you. So on a two plus, you take D3 mortal wounds. Oh, brilliant. Um, and then you need to take battle shock. So it doesn't happen. That's all right. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, cool. So that's that. I can luckily charge you now, but how many wings are you on two? Two wings. That's exactly yeah. what I wanted. That's all right. Um, let's do Death Jester next. So he will shoot at the strike team. At uh, the purifiers. Oh, purifiers. I have plunging fire. <laughs> oh, right. So I get an extra AP on this. Well, it's this lovely new terrain from, from Frontline. Frontline Gaming. This is the yeah. military base. So if you're familiar with this from Games Workshop, this is the GW Open style terrain so if you want we've to be set it up as a UKTC which yeah. it work, which it does a pretty good approximation it, of yeah, yeah it is doing a really good job at it so I'm looking forward to playing more games on it um, so that's going to be make me AP2 um, and then I'll go with sustain 3 as my special rule oh just just 3 yeah <laughs> yes. so 2's and then because of fate's messenger I can turn one of these to a 6 which then gives me an additional 3 hit thank you he's like he already knew um, then Freeze to wound with dev wounds. So one, and I can re-roll one of these. So three at minus two, and one dev wounds, and these are all two damage each. So three, four ups. So that's four, four dead. dead. Yeah. And then oh, you'll need was, a battle shock. That was unkind. Well, I'm not a nice guy. I've often heard that. Yeah. And, and they're um, all true. I'm gonna, <laughs> so we're going to kill all four silence without the squad. Yeah, that's what I liked. Uh, Way Leaper Man will shoot you now. So... He, so he's Dragon Fusion, uh, twos to hit. He hits, uh, twos, one at minus four. Uh, six up, yeah, yeah, I think I was going to say, yeah. Hey, there you go. Um, Have that, boss man. <laughs> yes, boss man. <laughs> um, then the support platform. I haven't used these guys before, so this should. Oh, be well, let me tell you what they do, because <laughs> yes. uh, I've been hit by a few of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so is it D three plus one shots? It's D three shots, but D3 because of blast, shots. it'll be D three plus one. So we'll start with the first one here. We'll shoot into here. Okay. So D three plus one in the box, drink. Uh, so three shots. These are hitting on freeze normally. Minus one to hits is indirect. Plus one because it's heavy. So threes. So threes. Uh, one hit. I can reroll the hit. Uh, strength 16, so twos yep. and they're dev. So two wounds, minus four, you will get cover uh, because it's indirect. So fives. Yep. Cool. And d6 plus two will just kill one. Another one dead. Very good. Uh, and then your minus one's a hit now. Brilliant. Whoa, mystical and all that. Um, do we back a solitaire? I think it's probably the question now. Um, I think we back a solitaire. I like my solitaire. So because of that, the other D cannon... No, I need the unit dead. So I'm just going to shoot it. So D3 plus one. Four. Oh. <laughs> Freeze. Uh, one hit. Uh, one reroll. Right. Uh, twos. One at minus four, so minus three. Another one dead. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. look at this amazing shot. <laughs> <laughs> then... <laughs> That's a nice engine. <laughs> what could that be? <laughs> so with that now, we're going to move into charge phase. So Wraith Blades will charge. Dead Knight Man, they are in. Very much so. Yeah, so... We need like a... Uh, you pipe. haven't shot your fire pike yet. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much, Chris. So he misses with a very well and he misses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Classic. Uh, then, I'm here, Dread Knight. No, drink, please. Um, and then Solitaire. <laughs> <laughs> is that oh. what it sounds like, is it? No, no drink, please. please. <laughs> so it. you're back in that Solitaire into Castle and Crow, are you? I am. Now, you don't, do you have an ECP to interrupt? No. Do you have fights with us? No. no. <laughs> Very good. All right, and um, So let's fight the Wraith Dread Night, whatever he's called. How many CP <laughs> you want, Chris? Zero. Oh, you're on zero? Yeah, Sorry. I spent one to Rapid Ingress and one to Mr. Demios. Okay, cool. And Jake, you're on one, right? I'm on one, yeah. So Where are we going? Into the We're going to do dread the Dread Knight. Knight okay. So I can't want to make you roll it as well. Freeze with Lethal. Right. So three 
Can the Dark Knight make uh, a defiant last stand? Let's see. No. <laughs> no, he <laughs> can't. <laughs> no. no. Uh, six. So I need to roll six, four up, so six. I need them all. Yeah, if you could. That'd be great. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I explode? Do I explode? No. Thank you for keeping yourself composed. Um, <laughs> and then these will just... Burr, burr. Just on air. Keep... Hug the spirits, uh, keep him safe. Um, right, now let's have a look at the solitaire. So, I will do him first. Now, he does have precision, but I don't think I really want... You're not going to try and kill Crow? I could, but... Psh, do you know what? We'll do the... F well, okay, Chrissy, because of that, we're going to do the... Um, <laughs> so easy to be. We're going to do the... Um, we'll do the Whaley for first, because okay. he can try and maybe kill some of them off. So, he's hitting on freeze. He can reroll one of them. He's strength six, so he's winning on threes. He can reroll one of them. Two at minus two. So two four ups. And he's two damage each. So we're good, good so far. Right, then how many wounds does um, Crow have? So instinctively, I'm trying to issue a challenge here, but that's the wrong game. So he has <laughs> five wounds, wounds. Here's a um, but once per turn, the first time a saving throw is failed, it changes damage characteristics to zero. You have to get four zero. through one in. You have to get four really unsaved wounds. Yeah. So twos. Oh, is this it. into the... This is into the... Well, I don't have to... I do it when the wound... When I do the rune okay. roll. I can say who it goes on. So who are they going? So freeze. So what I'll do... Hey, you can re-roll a wound, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh. So seven. So how many is in the unit? Four. Uh, four more guys. Okay, yeah. So take four on the unit. AP... Uh, AP two. Okay. So three dead. All right, now take one more on the unit. <laughs> now take another one on the unit. Now take the final one on the unit. No, oh, so <laughs> left one alive. That's very annoying. Try to be clever. <laughs> well, it's more like, so that's how you can actually do precision. You can just go one at, you can meet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you, I know you're, you're not yeah. cheating. It's just... And then one into the solitaire, one into strike man. And then that's it. So you get to fight now. Okay, well, Castle and Crow, who's he going to hit? Um, uh, he can only hit the solitaire. The solitaire, because yeah. he's there, yeah. So he gets... Five attacks. Yes. Uh, hitting on twos. Uh, strength six. Uh, twos. But they are devastating. Ooh. Oh no, he's uh, probably dead because of that. So that is four devastating wounds. So he's and dead. Two, okay. <laughs> so very good. So he's dead. He's ah. and he is tonk. <laughs> Why anyone? So no, that was though. that. I enjoyed that. Um, um, and so, then the so other. So you'll guy. get a kill already. So you're already we're already one for one. And the other guy into your Altark? Yeah. Uh, two hits. And, uh, uh, strength six. I presume I think he's toughness four. three? He is toughness three. So two wins then. AP two, damage two. Uh, so four up. That fell on both. So what he's he dead. <laughs> is he? Yeah. Does he come back? He does, so. so oh. but he'll come back outside of engagement range. So. Well, I enjoyed that. Oh, so you do get technically two kills. So already you're up on me. Which is annoying, but we, we digress. So, main thing is capturing the outpost for eight, secure no man's land for four, uh, five even, because I've got the middle and this one. Yep. Uh, and then I'll get four for a kill. Chris main still get kill more, but it depends on like I've if already it works got in the battle more. round. Whatever, it works on the battle round. So, of if course, you give yeah. me more units. Yeah, then... that's true. If I, if I feed you units in my turn. Yeah. Um, so cool. So, going into your turn. Um, I hold this one here. You do, so you hold one, so you get so four So you get points. four primary. Yeah. You listening over there, guys? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm editing while you do that. Well, I forgot they were here. <laughs> so wow. four, and then uh, cards. Yeah. Uh, oh, do I want to pick anyone up first? Oh, yeah, um, do, would you like to pick anyone up? I don't think so. You can pick up Crow's unit if you wanted, which would avoid it having to take Battle Shock if it makes a difference. Uh, he's in engagement range, right? No, he, he, he no brought him back outside. Because yeah, the way leaper died, and then so, I thought I, he had more I, than four I wounds. I kind of think it's a good thing. idea, but I'm just going to chop up a decanter. I thing. thought, admittedly, I thought he had five wounds, otherwise I would have put a save in. Uh, uh, well, it's up to you. No, 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 it's fine. I, I should have known. He, I've used the model about a million times. I should know he has. Correct mm -hmm. answer. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to pick anything up. So um, I got up to one CP. Yep. And Jake, you're up to two? I am up to two. I get secure no man's land. Which you've already got for one. Yeah, so it's, it's doable. Yeah. 
Um, and overwhelming force. Kill things on objectives. So oh, we've no, got that I can definitely do. Wraith blade unit, fire dragon, fire dragon unit. These guys uh, over here. Yeah, warp spiders and the D cannon. And these guys. Oh, and obviously the sweet balls. Yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. Um, so if you if you go top down, um, I will do my movement. Yeah, sounds All right. good. Well, I did not um, kill it. <laughs> so there was a question in the chat from King Joffrey saying, "Do we know what army Chris bought this week?" was Blood Angels last week, so he's talking about Chris with a K. Um, <laughs> well, he bought a new he, whole army. He, he buys a new army every, <laughs> every single day. Um, he is still on the Blood Angels, I can confirm, because yeah. he sent me a picture, I think, yesterday of him painting some Blood Angels. I saw him yesterday. So, and he actually has stuff. my army currently. Oh, really? He, yeah, he's he's got it on loan. Well, <laughs> what are you going to play? I've got AOS. 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 Age of Sigma. Me and you, we've got AOS to um to look forward to. So we've got to oh, yeah. put in the time for that, um, for Daz Maul's event that we've got coming up in a, in a couple of weeks yeah 16th of march pretty hyped it's gonna um, be cool yeah but anyway back to the game yeah so let's big i mean big yeah. point scoring already yeah We're looking yeah. turn two 36 29 is it's massive already um jake getting some big big results there picking up that dread knight um unlucky not to kill the entire squad with uh crow yeah but again this is just the the issue he was probably going to face is Losing too many units. Chris is now on kill more because he's killed two. Jake's only killed one at the moment. Ooh. Um, so if Chris can get some more kills, then it's it's going to be another big eight points for him there. Yeah. Um, and then he's just got to secure a couple of objectives in no man's land and kill things on objectives, which Jake has got a lot of things on objectives right now. So and all very killable. Yeah, all very killable. Um, yeah. I mean, I think we're seeing Crow go behind the wall to quickly finish some business with that D cannon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I think he I think he has an agenda against them D cannons. Chris does him. not like them. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, guys, let us know what you think of, um, of the game so far. Let us know your thoughts. Um, so well, let's see what's going on in the chat. How are you finding Eldari and Grey Knights, guys? Let us know. Yeah. Um, Grey Knights are softer custodies. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's anyone to really compare to Custodes when you look at how durable they are. They are mm. insanely durable. Um, but one thing to mention, um, which is a massive thank you to Tattoo Tabletop, because he has gifted 10 Vanguard Tactics five. memberships. Uh, there's another five before <laughs> oh, that. Did he? Oh, so I missed it. <laughs> ten, 10 in total. Oh, so thank you for doing that, mate. You are an absolute legend yourself. Yeah. Um, and if you have been gifted a membership, make sure to make use of that membership because we do have a lot of members content coming out. Um, we do have the members lounge every Friday. Yep. And we do also have pimp my list that um, will be dropping. We dropped one yesterday, which is basically where we we look at members submit a list to us and yep. we we upgrade it and evaluate it for you in a video. Yeah. Um, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. We'll take the strengths, the weaknesses, and we'll analyze it critically and see if we can make it better in any way, shape, or form. But, um, we may change the name. Chat, give us some recommendations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> it's not the most like obvious what it means for some we're, people. We're looking. We're looking to improve on that. Yeah. But. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sick. And also check out uh, Tatty Tabletop as well. Um, yeah. He's he, got. He's, he's got his own. YouTube now he's got, got his, his own channel. channel. Go yeah. check it out, guys. Yeah. He is an absolute legend, and actually an academy member as well, yeah. or um, an alumni. Is that is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, ambassador. Ambassador. He's definitely yeah. an ambassador. Um, um, you don't really handle the academy. No, no, exactly. But, but yeah, James is sick. And if you want to see more Age of Sigma stuff as well, uh, he's got some really cool. He's an amazing courts painter that I've seen as well on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, he's really good at painting flesh eater courts and cities of Sigma. Yeah, you should yeah. check them out. Some really he's cool a models. legend, absolute legend. Um, um so. I'll keep submitting my squig off list. Um, <laughs> making a player, a custodius player, can see turn two was the most beautiful thing I've done this week. He thought he was durable enough. Wow. wow. That is, um, I believe it's Death Guard Dave. Um, honestly, there's something like. Or Aiden? I don't know. It's either Aiden or Death Guard Dave. Um, disgustingly resilient podcast. Absolute legends over there as well. Um, go check them guys out because they are awesome. And yeah, he's obviously referring to Death Guard. Mm. who have an obscene amount of flamers yeah. or torrent weapons. Um, so going into custodies with all of their contagion rules and stuff, because yeah, yeah. honestly, Death Guard, their, their rules are contagion rule. insane. The contagion rules are really good. Absolutely insane. Like minus one save or minus one um, blister skill, weapon skill. Mm. Even like, so even minus one OC is actually a lot better than you would think. Honestly, yeah. they have a tool for every army, the Death Guard, and it's it's insane. Like, 
Um, so Kobe, VT Kobe, he plays Tyranids. Yeah. Um, whenever he's played um, into Death Guard, they go minus one OC on his Tyranids and all of his little bugs now just have no strength. Is it to a minimum of one or is it just... Yeah, to a minimum of okay, one. Right. Yeah, to a minimum of one. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, 28 anti-infantry flamers, like anti-infantry four plus, two plus. So they wound everything on twos and fours with flamers. It's horrific. Literally disgusting. <laughs> the, disgusting, <laughs> <Very> exactly. <thin. laughs> um, but just, yeah, it, there's a lot of Grey Knights coming. We can in see it, in the top left. In yeah, the top left, to yeah. Say. Like, um, if we zoom in here, um, <laughs> we literally have so many Grey Knights just turning up in the corner there. I think Chris really wants the top the top left. Yeah, and over uh, on the right, we can see that Dread Knight has just come down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm getting used to these buttons, Jordan. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> impressed, mate. It's some rapid fire. Mm. What do you guys think of the new camera angles, by the way? You you liking them? Um, boom, top down. Boom. Boom, top left. Oof. And back to top down. And now show us bottom left. Uh, oh, nice. and it looks like they're done. So let's hear it from Chris. Okay. I've done some things. You have <gasps> done some things. I've made some moves. Um, so my my strikes have just moved over here, so they're an in, just over an inch away from the sweeping hawk. So that if you do phantasm away, um, I'm making my charge as easy as possible. Um, I've moved my unit of intercept, interceptors over to towards the fire dragons making sure to stay out of your 12-inch uh, devastating, disgusting flamer range. Um, Castle and Crow ran away. I mean, bravely went <laughs> to fight a, uh, a D-cannon. Now, the key thing, I did overwatch he did. with the Death Jester, and I did use his thing, turn the dice to a six. So I got a hit because he doesn't get sustained in overwatch, and I did manage to kill off that purifier. Yeah, so that so we're tied another now, kill. Yeah. Yeah, which I don't think will make too much of a difference, but it's more so then... If I do draw assassinate as an example, I've got an easier time easier, of killing crows. Yeah, yeah so. nice. Um, I, I've moved. I've deep striked in this unit of paladins. Deep striked. Deep struck. Struck. Deep struck deep in. Struck in. This unit of paladins with Drago, um, and the other unit of paladins led by the um, librarian have moved off that objective um, to line up some line up some shots. Um, and their position has been backfilled by the other unit of interceptors. I've got another unit in reserve. Yeah. Um, oh, we have more. <laughs> we have more. This is turn two, so I think they will remain in reserve yeah. at this point. Um, okay. It's a bit all eggs in one basket, otherwise. Yeah. Um, so you have the opportunity to phantasm. Yeah. So the key thing we were talking about is that if I roll a four up on the wraith blades, it then means none of this can charge. That's right. They're both over nine. Yeah, um, they both currently need nines. Yeah. yeah. But equally, I don't think I can do that and also stay out of shooting range of this thing. It's almost like. Yeah. So it's some overlapping fields of fire. Yeah. No. No, not God. <sighs> Tactics. I hate God. No, I hate God. Um, so the other idea is that I could phantasm with this unit mm -hmm. and I could roll a five up and get behind here. That's true. But a five is a bigger number than a four, if you know, and, not too familiar. And also though while it might while it might save the unit, they can still if they don't think they're gonna make the charge, they'll just shoot something else and move on to the objective yeah. to secure either way. So I think I think the the better play is this, the other idea is I could just get the way leaper yeah. out of dodge. Um, it basically depends on how scared I am of, because he can't see me. So it's just how scared I am of these two units. Um, and the, uh, and uh, they're wounding me on sixes pretty much of everything. Mostly, yeah. Because um, I'm tough enough seven minus one to wound. Yeah, I think the Titan Sword might be slightly better. But yeah, he's straight at ten or something. Yeah, but, so he'll um, be winning on four. Yeah. So tell you what, I am going to, with all that said, the Way Leaper hasn't really done a lot for me this game. He's done what he's needed to. I don't think I'm going to need more than one CP going into... I'm not going to need two CP going into next turn Sure. with what I want to do. So I'm just going to use Phantasm on the Wraith Blades. So on a four up, which they get. Where so they can go? just sit. So the idea is I'm going to sit behind here. So you can't. So I can't shoot you. You can't shoot me. Might charge you, but that's yeah. something you're probably okay with because, yeah. um, as we've already seen, you can wreck their day. And then I'll just sit just like that. And I'll sit 13 away, 13 away, so I'm all good. So I can't be shot. So the idea is there's a line like that right there, and then yeah. I can sit just there. Live to fight another day. And get like that. Cool. And I still have the objective. That's the other thing as well. Of course, yeah. So, cool. 
Um, so I'm going to move on to my shooting then. Yep. Um, we'll start with this unit here. We'll just shoot your banshees. My, my hawks? Uh, your hawks, hawks, sorry. Yeah. Chrissy. Banshees? Oh. Haven't heard that in a long time. No. Are banshees even still a thing? Yeah, Steve. I believe so. <laughs> Sadly. Okay, so 20 shots, hitting on threes. <laughs> ba -ba 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 and then wounding on threes. Have some saves. So these will be, I think a sweeping hawk has a four up. Uh, so four. So four. So yeah, so we just need the exile left, which is not on the objective. It's either one at the back. Either yeah. the one at the very back. There gotcha. we go. Um, next up, the interceptors will shoot the fire dragons. Yeah. So 10. And the fire dragons are on that objective. On there? the objective yeah, of the back. Yeah, these ones There's no other oh, ones. Oh, there's, there's, there's no <laughs> helpful cameras pointing at them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so again, threes. Bolters are good in 12, aren't they? Yeah. That, well, that's the thing. I, I think this is a really good game for Grey Knights, personally. Especially after watching it on the weekend, I think this is, like, a very good counter. Um, just because the amount of shots. And, the and, all, and all the tricks you've got as well. Um, which is good. So free up, so free die. Okay. Uh, like that. Um, so the librarian is going to do librarian -y things. Um, okay. Here he is. So, Librarian's psychic ability is called Vortex of Doom. Wow. So, I can select one enemy unit within 18 inches and visible to the psyker. Roll the dice on a one, I hurt myself. Fantastic. Um, on a two to five, you take 2d3 mortal wounds. On a six, it's 2d6 mortal Ooh. wounds. So, those race blades. Yeah. I'm having a go. Yeah, I may, I may be able to sit out with your charge and bolt range, but I cannot sit out of Vortex of Doom. What do you reckon? Is it going to be a one or a six? A six. Uh, that was a nothing. <laughs> that is a two. So two. So so two, two D three. Two D three mortals. Uh, so five. Five mortals. So that is going to be one dead, one on one. That's pretty Another good. One bites. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, very, now, very, very good. All the storm balls from that unit are going to shoot your autark. Um, so and they are within. 12. We 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 yeah, measured. We made sure they were within. Yeah. 12. Uh, so that, by my count, that should be twenty four shots. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, a paladin might even hit on a two. Let's find out. Are they paladins? Are they they're both? All, paladins? They're all paladins. Oh right, yeah. I thought they were terminate. I thought the other unit was terminated. Uh, no, due to the intricacies of um, making lists, yeah, they have twos. Um, it's actually very difficult to build grey knights lists because you need 125 points minimum. Yeah. Um, so you end up just randomly upgrading all your guys to the best possible ones because you have like you 70 have points left points. over. Yeah. yeah. Um, so winning on threes. Get up from this, go on. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's getting up from this very sadly. Right, three ups. Uh, All right, you just... Oh, well, maybe just, he does, yeah. He'll just shrug it off then, uh, okay. I haven't used any fake dice, that's any knock them. So two, two, one, double two, or one, double four on that. So he's on two left. Okay, um, the paladin, other paladin unit are gonna shoot the warp spiders over here. Yeah. So there'll be five regular guys. Well out of rapid fire range. So you'll hit. Yeah. And then threes. Sadly. Uh, cool. Enjoy. Uh, uh, they got three up save base. They do. So, so just three up I'm going to go on the Exarch first. Okay. So three ups. As he just takes a wound. And then Drago. I think he gets two shots with his snazzy bolter. He's a very special bowler. The very it's called the scourging. Uh, oh no, that's a psychic power thing. Um, so Stormboard, it's, oh, it's a regular Stormboard, so two hits, one more save. Uh, AP? And no, it's just Stormboard. Oh, he's dead. And then the Scourging. The Scourging, so three attacks. Yeah. So three hits. Yeah. Are you a demon? Uh, I don't like to think so. <laughs> that's really unfortunate. Liar! <laughs> Strength six, so twos. Yeah. Uh, AP two, damage two. Uh, so five up in rolls. Uh, three dead, so we've got one left. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, moving on, the Dread Knight will shoot the Heavy Side Cannon at your damage transport and the Heavy Silence at your one remaining um, bloke. Or fella. Your fella. Or fella. Oh, Ooh. so I missed twice. And this is the Side Cannon. This is the Heavy Side Cannon. So threes. So two wounds, AP2, uh, no cover. Oh yeah, because he needs cover, doesn't he? Uh, two fails, so two damage each? Two, two apiece, so yeah. So down to three. 
down through. We're chipping it. Um, what what I'm deliberately doing here is leaving it alive so I can get some kill points next time. Yeah. Nice tactics. Oh, that at all. <laughs> <laughs> once, it, once it all dead. <laughs> well, if it's all dead, it can't hurt me. That is that is where to live by. Spoken like a true member of the Imperium. And then threes. These are strength six, Say so two. Oh, yeah, this is into my little friend, isn't he? Yeah, and uh, now we pee. Uh, he's there we dead. Go. Very sad. We got him. And then the yin can't turn up, no. Uh, well, the yin can't better not turn up. <laughs> no. I miss him. I can imagine you do. I do. Uh, Castle and Crow uh, is going to shoot us. He, he must have a special storm bolter um, into your platform. My weapon platform. Your weapon, my, yeah. My D cannon. Uh, no, he has a storm bolter. Um, and it's purifying flame. So we'll do the storm bolter first. Uh, so four hits. Mm -hmm. uh, strength four, T six or seven? Uh, well, I don't know. If you Doesn't roll, matter. I'll tell you. Uh, It'll be fives, eight. I believe. Well, none of those. Uh, um, and then his purifying flame. Yeah, T six. Two hits. Uh, strength four again. So one wound, AP one. One wound, AP one. Uh, fine. You love it. Do. Um, do love so that. before we carry on, guys. Uh, we have had a super chat from Clayton Sanford. Hey. Uh, he said, good evening, gents. Had to get ready for Battlefit that starts Monday with a leg workout. Nice. Busy converting Sangard into Vanguard Vets for the Emperor. <laughs> and then he's also gifted nice. 20 Vanguard Tactics oh, memberships. Thank you very much. You are an absolute legend, sir. And make legend, sure yeah. you do say thank you if you have been gifted a membership by him. And keep an eye out for all the members' content that we do post each week. And join us this Friday. So he's going to shoot there. Lounge. I'm not going to bother moving it. Just yeah. rolling it just to there we go. tuck in there. Quick shoot scoot. The only shoot, one model shoot in scoot. there. Yeah, only one guy could see, but he just needs a target to be able to shoot at. Now, uh, again, the assassin is going to try and shoot the tank. Very good. He hits. He hits. Uh, just roll the six. No. no. <laughs> yeah, again, assassin with Joffrey. <laughs> the, the greatest combo that no one ever needed or wanted or thought about. It's happened. <laughs> so. so this unit of strikes is going to charge your main guy. So there he's in. Um, he's cream crackered, Chris. I'm, I'm a, mm -hmm. I can say when. I, I would hope so. Yeah. So, so he's dead. He's dead. Give me, I'll, give I'll, me, I'll give you the exile. Give back. me the um, I, Chris, I sorry, mate. Did you know that the side cannon's three damage? Three. Yeah. What on the big one? Yeah. Now you say it, you might be right. Uh, so it means I'll go down to one wound. Yeah, down to one so. wound. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did know that. I <laughs> forgot that. No, that's right. Um, also, it, it hits on a 3+, plus, not a 2+. plus. Ah, so I've just been... That's cheating. the FAQ they make it on a 2, right? No, I think it's just the combat weapons. Maybe no, you, yeah, no, you're right. The FAQ moved the combat weapons oh. to 2s. Okay, why don't we just put them back on 3s? Put them back on 3, And then yeah. we'll just... And, uh, yeah, fine. just cheat horrendously. Ah, it's right. a way to Casual cheating is fine. Yeah, um, premeditated pre yeah. cheating's better. Yeah, we're not it. goblins at the end of the day. We're not so. goblins, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll charge the scene at Hunty Fire Dragons. And then I'm just going like, to... Yeah. I'm, I'm fair, I'm fair. And then they're dead. They're dead. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, Castle and Crow will charge your platform. Yeah. This one I will make you... Yeah, that one, that one you Just because I've got five wings here and, you know, probably some other Eldar stuff I could do. I'm sure there's some jank. Yeah. It's a vehicle as well, which I didn't know till just now. So. Oh, is it? Yeah, which yeah. is quite useful. So here, uh, that is a, what, 10 inch charge? That's like a 10 to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's over nine and a half. Yeah. So. so it's a 10. Um, so I'm gonna need a nine on the dice because I got plus one to my charges because yeah. of the enhancement. Yeah. Uh, that's a five. Cool. Um, um, okay. Yeah, we just have Castle and Crow to resolve. Yeah, because we've done the combats there. Yeah, uh, we're They're not like, going to... Gonna... You've definitely got Killmore. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> definitely got Killmore. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, so oh, no. <laughs> Crow hit many times. Maybe that's a wound. Uh, toughness uh, six. Uh, strength six, so, so fours. fours. Uh, didn't hear you that time. Oh, well, two uh, AP two, damage two. So Don't forget your fate dice. Six up, I'm not going to pass it. And damage two puts one on one wound. Which is why I didn't want to do that. Um, I'll hit you back. Yeah, you will. Two attacks. Oh my, two hits. I can re-roll one. Oh my, two wins. Oh, two hits. Really. Nice one. So that's that. That's that. So, at the end of that, I've secured No Man's Land. You have for uh, two. For two. So that's five points. And I've overwhelming force. Uh, which you're going to get max Many. Because you killed two. Yeah, so, so that's objectives. another five, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. 
Um, cool. So going into turn three, I am going to get two command points. I'll just put that back up there. Um, you I will score get score eight. Uh, I just score four. Oh, because yeah, you don't yeah, hold one. I just hold one. I can bring back a wraith guard, which is super. Oh, helpful. so do I? I hold three, so I get an extra four. Only at the start of the combat. At the start, phase, of the yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll put. Little yes, wraith. yes, yes. Sorry, I was. I'll put wraith man here, or actually, I'll put him there. So he's got options. He's got um, options. And then cards wise, extend battle lines, tempting target, tempt me a target, Chris. This one over here. Cool. We'll give that a go. Um, how many AUC is an inceptor? Uh, ask me questions like that. One, I would imagine. Um, one, yes. Cool. We should be able to get that. Then. And how much? How much CP are we all on? Uh, I'll go up to two CP because I've got the way leaf. And I'm alive. on two as well. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So if you want to go to the top down and mute us, yeah, we'll sure. Talk about Warhammer. Oh, we have to talk about Warhammer. I so, do that. Kipper, uh, the lists are in the description. So, if you click on the link to the blog, you will be able to find the um, lists on our website. So, that's all on there for you. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think obviously the, we are using the Dread Knights um, with Post. the data slate. With the data slate changes, um, it's just Chris has just forgotten, which is absolutely <laughs> fine. Well, what, what Chris has done is picked up an old card, so I'm just getting rid of it. You can have it. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, so we were looking at the old data cards, not the new ones. So that is why. Mistake. Yeah, don't worry. We've got it here in front of us now. Um, but, guys, there is 338 of us watching and only 103 likes. So please hit that like button. It helps us massively. This is um, unfair. It's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> um, but massive point scoring. I mean, we're now going into Jake's turn three. And he's behind. I would actually, um, with hindsight, I wonder, I'm curious if actually Jake's first turn where he moved out to um, make the first blows was actually worth it or not. Or if he should have held back for another turn. Yeah, I mean. I mean, it's a tough one, isn't it? It is. It is. I think he was hoping to do the damage, but it's, it's whether or not you risk that going in, right? Well, we all like gambling. What? We all like Gandalf. <laughs> gambling. Oh, gambling. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't we're, like Gandalf, though? Oh, hey, we're going to get in trouble by Steve again, Sorry. okay? We can't We can't 40K. talk about Lord of the Rings. 40k, 40k. Who's the Gandalf of 40k, guys? The Gandalf of 40k? Yeah. Malkador. Yeah? That's why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I think Gandalf of 40k is Malkador. Okay. Chat, yeah. what do you think? Um... <laughs> We just saw the water spiders move up into the yeah like yeah exactly. Um, so we had the old index cards um, just on the side. Um, so obviously most of the stuff is still the same, but it's just one of the data sheets have changed. So yeah, it's it's just a a mistake. It's fine. We've rectified it. It's all good. Yeah, I can't um, believe I've only just found out that the weapon platforms count as vehicles. That's crazy. Imagine getting like tank shocked by one of the. <laughs> Seb, I think they move like three inches, mate. Like, I know, but like, that doesn't stop They them. charge further than they move. <laughs> well, that's actually, that's the case for that's everyone. Terrifying. That's terrifying. <laughs> that, that's the case for everyone, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you roll 2d6. <laughs> but just imagine getting like, wiped out by that. <laughs> just like, yeah, deboned yeah. by this, yeah. li this little dude in his chair. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Going like three, two miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, Nathan just said Jake would disagree, George. Yeah, I forgot that we have the um, uh, the Votan Grimnirs. You know the Grimnir wizards? Oh, yeah. They're the space Gandalfs. The dwarf wizards. Well, he's not a dwarf, though. Um, Dante said Malkador doesn't come back after fighting the warp. True. Uh, he's not true. a real baller, then, is yeah. he? Mm. Yeah, he is a baller. <laughs> Put some respect on Malkador's name. As he much is a of a baller as Gandalf? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he Mal fight the Baron? Malkador would literally... <laughs> run circles round round Gandalf. That's <laughs> not that impressive. Anyone can run circles around anyone. Wow, isn't that true? That, that's a paradox. <laughs> that's a paradox, mate. It's not, it's not <laughs> that deep. <laughs> um, but anyway, back to the game. So Jake, this turn, so he's got extend battle lines. So yeah. he needs to hold his home objective and one in no man's land, which is very achievable. Yeah, and then attempt and target. Which which one did you say was the tempt him? Sorry. Yeah, so top left. Top left. So this objective... Oh, boom. What did you say, Chris? 
Oh, there's yeah. some Sovereign Hawks. Yeah, it what looks it's, it's very, very obvious as to what's going on here. Maybe Jake but can explain since he's just finished. Yeah. Right. So, so need to get extend battle lines. Need to get tempting target. I can do both in one with some cheeky moves. So me and Chris had a, again another long discussion because uh, it's good to be vocal with your. I opponent. do enjoy our long chats. Yeah. Well, someone has to um, because I know that my mother does it. Um, anyway, she so, loves chatting with me. Yeah, you still owe her, by the way. <laughs> anyway, so it's Warp Spider's main thing, measured 24 for the flicker jump, and I actually managed to get on that objective with it. So I've got 5 OC to Chris's 5 OC. If I then can kill the... Uh, I need to kill one Inceptor yep. to then gain... Um, to basically get Tempting Target. Billy just stacked it. Um, <laughs> so, so I need to get two Dev Wounds through, so I need to get two Sixes with my Warp Spiders. It's not guaranteed, and I really need these points because of how Chris has been able to get lots of kill more. So with that in mind, I've put the Sweeping Hawks over there, so then if I don't kill, you can them, scoot I can try and shoot and scoot onto there. So either way, I've got it. There's, I've got guaranteed 10 points for tempting target and send battle lines. With that in mind, knowing I'm going to hold the top one no matter what, I've kept the Spirit Seer here just in case something goes really, really, really bad. Yeah. Um, but equally, I've lined up a big, you know, a few charges here. So the main idea of this move was then either way, whichever unit uh, Chris Mr. Demos is. If I miss the Demos. If he, does, yeah. if he did want to miss the Demos, it's not going to matter because I still have a charge. Um, he's elected not to, which means that I do need a five into the strikes. I've got a five in my fate dice pool. If you need it, yeah. So I don't need to worry. Um, with that in mind, ranges have moved up. I've just sort of given up with now screening off the three inches. Main thing, because a support platform has a 40 mil base, I can put it right in the middle of the objective and you can't deep strike onto it. Um, well, well. Well, unless you do basically what I've been doing <laughs> without CP. With my, uh, with your inceptors. With my inceptors. Um, Got to hope for no catch on any outposts, but if I'm honest, I need them to be able to do something. You, like you need game. to use all your yeah, assets. So I don't have loads left. Because, um, again, these bolters have just been really doing a number on me. Um, so with all that in mind, let's go over to shooting. So we'll start with the Warp Spiders. Um, so I'm going to do all of their shots into the Interceptors. Okay. So 66. So that right. is 10, 22. So that was some quick maths, Jake. Thank you. He's weirdly good at it. Mm. 12. I still, I still my favourite maybe in everyone's stream is when I... Gave you an out of body experience with how quickly I managed to do. I, I hadn't even processed the numbers on the dice, and he'd yeah. worked it out. It was, yeah, he rolled it, I got it, and you just went, Oh my god, <laughs> that's insane! The computer, yeah, yeah, Rain Man, um, or aka XP. Um, so fours, so is that a young person? So? No, XP was Windows XP, I don't know. Oh, right, right. <laughs> so fours, okay, there we go. So, oh, right, you've nice, I've you've really done pushed the it all the way in there, haven't you? I do try, um. So that's six dev, I can reroll one, and seven saves. So seven two ups. So, so uh, seven wounds. Then seven wounds, so three, three dead, one on a wound. Okay, so now knowing that, I don't need to buy on a faith. You don't need to, you don't need to spend your two CP on Which that. Which is great. Um, so it means I've got my CP for other things. Um, so next, we're going to go with the... Uh, Rangers, they're going to shoot the Terminate or the Paladin, sorry. So you freeze to it, and I miss them all. I get a reroll, I hit. Um, fours, no, oh, five, sorry. So um, okay, Wave Serpent into these um, Inceptors. Inceptors. So Twin uh, Shuriken Cannon, uh, three hits. He's going to be three swoons with Twin Linked. So three at minus one. Uh, one, of, one of them will get cover. So two up, two up. Um, Wow. And then uh, catapult. Uh, can we roll one of them? No. That's fine. Scorpions here, got them there. So then it's just really shooting from Death Jester and the D cannons. I don't like this Death, Je Death Jester at all. It's terrifying. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, so <laughs> pretty cool. He's pretty cute. Uh, so I'm going to give the sweeping hawks into the interceptors because if I can drown you in dice, I don't need to put a D cannon into you. That's going to be so. That is helpful. not a. Terrible thing to hear. <laughs> Just drown you in dice. I meant put the D cannon in. Yeah, someone has to. <laughs> uh, so again, doing the same thing I did before. So re rolling a hit. So I'm just rolling these separately because one wound's on fours, the other wound's on fives. So four wounds so far. So four two up. So another one dead. I've got one guy left on one okay, wound. Okay, come on, rest of the sweeping hawks. You can do it. So. Oh, hello. Hello. That was good. Um, 
I like these play on dice. Yeah, do love play. Thank you again, play on for the dice, for the support, and I was going to say for some more sixes, but that um, is. Jake has shot his wave serpent shield. Yes, I did do that, and it didn't work. He's dead. No, I wouldn't. I tried hard. Yeah, I killed the unit. So that's I'm happy. That's with that. a kill, yeah. and you so, don't have to. And you've taken. Yeah, and I don't have to yeah. fight and fade, which is great. Um, so then I can now I'm free to decanon whoever I want well. incredible thing um, but before we decanon we're going to do the death jester into the paladins um, I'm going to opt for I don't know if his weapon's got precision inbuilt or if I've got to choose it it doesn't have it inbuilt I'm just going to go for sustain free so it's three. like the best what one. strength is it? it's strength 6 so I'll be winning all 4s uh, you'll Even be winning, winning all 4s yeah yeah because uh, their toughness... Oh, no, yeah, because your toughness is five, 5 and your minus, minus 1 to So you still fours. Fours, yeah. So twos. So that's already sustained three. I'm going to re-roll this. And then I turn that to a six. So that's... Uh, horrible. Nine horrible hits. thing for me to see. Horrible, boys. And then uh, fours with dev. No devs with a re-roll wound. So that is five at minus two because of plunging fire. And these are two damage each. Uh, Four up. Got One guy takes so two. Just two damage. No, uh, I think it's three wins each. They are. So one guy is on a win left. So now knowing I don't need to um, use fire and fade, I'm going to pay one CP so I can grenade with the Autark. Okay. Into the Paladins. Nice. So I have a four up against mortals. That's okay. Is it just psychic mortals or just? Oh. I imagine. Oh, it's don't just read the data cards. <laughs> oh no, you're right. It's against psychic it's attacks. Against psychic. Yeah, you're right. So fours. So three mortal wounds. So one's dead, and one's dead. the other is down to a wound. And then I'll shoot a fusion dragon fire thing. It hits, it wounds, on your invulnerable save, please. You're fine. You're fine. Very good. So now I'm going to shoot some decannons at you. So the decannon is minus one to hit, because yeah. even with indirect and so heavy... So he's minus two and plus, plus one. one. So, so it still falls. Shoot into this unit. So D3 plus one. So two. Falls. With a reroll. Look at him. No. So then, but, oh no, I didn't get a hit. But then this one will do the exact same thing into here. Yeah. So D3 plus one, so four. Uh, freeze, get a reroll. Uh, and then I'm going to roll two. So and then two I'll, put, I'll just roll the last one. Cool. So three uh, on your invulnerable save. So you just kill So one. the damage guy is dead. That's fine. Um, I think that's it, you know. So let's do some charges. Charges. So, charges. Way Leaper into Dr whatever his name is. Keldor, Dr no, Keldor's over here. He is uh, Castellan Crow. Castellan Crow. Uh, and then the Wraith Blades need a five. I'm going to put a five in. Into uh, the strikes? Yeah. And I'll roll the other one so I get ten. The main thing is after the pile and after the consolidation, I can get all of them behind this building, I think. Mm. So ten. Ten. Um, I can put one, uh, one uh, a massive thank you to I believe it's Nashi it's got to be you yeah. yeah Nashi gifted five Vanguard Tactics memberships really? you are an absolute legend as well mate so Thanks, thank you Nashi. so much for that and make sure if you have been gifted a membership to say thank you um, to Nashi for that because it's yeah. awesome thank you Nashi right and then Wave Serpent will charge with an eight yeah. And then striking scorpions will charge. Yep. Uh, have you got TCP? You do have TCP. I do have TCP. How exciting. Oh, um, what am I going to do with them? Yeah. So I'm going to tank shock. That's the first thing I'm going to do okay. with the wave serpent. So providing he is strength six. I think about six, yeah. Um, which he is, luckily. So eight dice every five up. I'm going to try and give this a go because I want to try and whittle this down a bit. Okay. Uh, one one wound, yeah. Not exactly what we want. That's so a whittle, and you're the definition of whittling them. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go the Way Leaper probably actually now can't kill Jay Crow because you blank one. I blank the first one. And then so. you need three to fail. Yeah, I have. Five wounds, so yeah, yeah so, so I would I, need four. I'm probably more there. likely to do something here, so I'm, I'm gonna to... fight these guys. Okay, um, what's yeah. your AP and such like? I don't know, <laughs> I know they've got dev, 
Oh, that's nice. Um, because of rules, but the app does not like airplane mode. So I'm having to put my internet on so I can just quickly see, because I've got a, a oh, big sword and a little sword. So it did not like that. <laughs> can anyone, someone just, oh, hang on. Yes, that's, that's weird. No, no, because there's one with like a big sword, but it's not. Can anyone just have a look on their app quickly for a Sky King Scorpion Exile to see if his attacks are different? Nah. Um, Don't worry, I'm not moving up. Helpful. Right. Scorpion Scorpions. I've got uh, it. Melly, you got it. So Biting Blade or Scorpion Chainsaw or Scorpion's Claw. So the leader has the Scorpion's, whatever it's called. Scorpion's Claw. So that's biting blade. four attacks, yeah. four up, hit on fours. The one, the, the two damage one, that's why I like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, there's... Two, two damage ones. Oh. So the bite, both have sustained hits, one strength eight, one strength five, one hits on threes, one hits on fours. I didn't know there was The claw gives you like a shooting I think it's the claw. It? The claw, yeah. yeah. So four one. attacks hitting on fours. Oh, oh sorry, I'm oh. true silver armor. Okay. Yeah. So hitting on, say so two hits, uh, strength eight. Strength eight. So twos, so twos, and these have dev because of um, Mandy, Mandy Blasters. Um, we're going to reroll a wound. So one dev, so that will just kill one. That yeah. goes in at the end. Then one at minus two, but you're true silvering. So, so one dies. Then at Scorpion Chainswords. Da, da, da. And then do I get sustained for the whole Oh no, that's only if um Kandra is in there. I get sustained for the whole unit. Uh, and then Just tell me why you're getting dev wounds, sorry. Because of Mandy Blasters. It's a war game. It's a war ability. Oh, it's a war ability. ability. Yeah. Okay. And then sixes. Oh hello. Uh, so three more devs and two saves. Okay, so these are two ups. Cool. So just three dev wins. Yeah, so that will be two dead. Two dead and one on one. Uh, no, because dev wins don't spell over anymore. No, no, but they're one week, they're one damage each. And I did three. So one one died from the two damage. Yep. Dev wins. And then I've just done three. Oh, they've done three more. Yeah. You're right, sorry. Cool. So there you go. Right. Hopefully that will give me enough AC there. But now you're about to interrupt and kill my lovely, lovely wall. Uh, I can't because I true silvered. Oh, cool. Amazing. Um, I just but, think, I just but think I guess with, kill with the yeah. maths, there's no way I'm going to kill him. So. Well, you've got fate dice. I do have fate dice, but I don't have I don't have the five anymore. That's an important one. Um, so let's do the autark now. So freeze to hit. With uh, oh, a reroll. With a reroll. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and then this is going to be free swinged. Uh, with a reroll. So four, he doesn't four, have four. dev because he's got the um, Banshee Master fight first. So um, I fail two. So one I ignore, one. so I take two damage, got three wins left. Oh, that's light then. And then you get to hit me back. Oh, no, not, uh, well, not got, just yet. I'll get to see all my rave planes. But... Uh, they're dead, it's fine. That's but you got your hmm? tank gets to fight. Oh, yeah. Um, well, everyone. Well, because I got Guy in a win, so it's relevant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, right, here we go. With a reroll. No. With a, with a, with a reroll. No. Okay. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll fight with the interceptors now. So I've killed two units this turn. Uh, I think you killed this one here. And the interceptors. And the interceptors have yeah, so two. So I've killed yeah. two. So I've got to kill. I don't think we can kill more. Okay. okay. So I get nine attacks here. Jay, All into the... Yeah. You know you haven't actually picked a weapon on the list. What? Your exile just has an ordinary uh, chainsaw. He's, he's got a claw. Oh, he's I did set, yeah. yeah. This is, so, remember that bit at the start of the stream where I say I had to change my list mm -hmm. and I forgot to do all the upgrades? That's why. <laughs> so, Skin issue. Because that is, that is because I got told we had models we didn't. Um, Threes. Strength six, so twos. Yeah. Uh, six AP2, damage two on your... Six AP. So they have a five up in the bowl. They're all dead. <laughs> so, so you get. So you already get one kill back. And how many OC is your tank? Uh, you'll, you'll have. I believe he's OC three. No, he's OC two. So, so you're still contained. Yeah. Okay. Cool. On, killing that one would have made a difference. Um, and then you've got Crow. Yes, I do. So five attacks for Crow hitting on twos. We're going to put. <laughs> One into the platform and four yep. into your autark. So one into the platform, hits. Uh, hits. And wounds. And wounds. Six AP. up. Nice. It's dead. And then uh, into the autark. So four hits. And then twos. Three. Okay. I'm going to roll one at a time. Yep. Four up. Four up. 
Well, so he's and, dead. Uh, no, you can... Then you got... I don't have any... C it's two damage, isn't it? Yeah, he's only on two wins. Oh, yeah. how do I hurt? Oh, I shot him. Yeah, you shot him, yeah. So that's them dead. So you're going to get killed more for that. So, and then... So that's fine. Okay. And then, yeah. Do you, the platforms blow up? I don't... I don't. They are vehicles, but that would be weird, wouldn't they? I don't think so, but let's find out. No, they don't. They don't. No, the man does not explode. Um, cool. So with that in mind, um, yeah. So at the end of my turn, I'll get tempting target for five. Extend battle lines for five, and that's it. Control one, kill one. Uh, I get kill. Yeah, I, I can. Like I said at the start, I did control one, and then I do kill. I did kill two units. You've killed three, so you're going to have kill more currently. Yeah. Um, but it's just basically the matter of can I get that off you? Yeah, so I need to decide if I'm going to pick anything up right now. Um, I think I will pick up my Paladins with Drago. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, and I think they'll stay here. Yeah. They've got some good charges and good shooting. Yeah, so. they, they can probably do some, some work. Yeah. Um, do I want to pick up the Dread Knight? Probably not. No. I'll keep, yeah. the, I'll keep the Dread Knight. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right, so in my command phase, so I you go get, up to... So you get hold an objective. I hold an objective because yep. of those glorious guys over there. I get a command point. I draw capture enemy outpost. Oh, wow. Well. That's good. Because <laughs> so I, this is the thing. So you're yeah. going to do it back to me, basically, why I did <laughs> Yeah, you. so I'll probably, pick, I'll probably try and use Drago's unit yeah. to get Well, you've that. got the interceptors in reserve, right? I've got that as well, yeah. yeah. And um, all you've got to do is you don't even need to free inch deep strike for that. So Because you can just go nine and then you shoot me. So I only move six. Mine. Oh, do you? So I would oh, need to okay. So, yeah, so you, yeah, but you can still do it. Yeah, I've got, I've got options. I've got options. So, sorry, it's capture enemy outpost and... Investigate signals, which is Did my you? least favourite objective. Yeah. Um, I think if it helps, it's probably most people. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> basically, it shall become a CP. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you meet me, get a top down, I will uh, determine exactly which way I'm going to do this. Yeah. And you're on three and Jake, you're on one. I'm yeah? on one now, yeah. So I've got enough for an overall. Uh, I'm on two CP. You're on two. Because I spent one for the truth of Rama last turn. Um, yeah, cool. Right, hmm. I think that is everything all updated. Sick. With the current scores. Chad Crow, someone's just uh, put in chat. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Um, what champ? Crow's an absolute beast. Yeah. That's such a beautiful model as I well. I like the model a lot. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. cool. Um, so as of right now, um, it's, it's Chris has obviously got to kill more. Yep. Because he has killed three. Yep. As long as Jake doesn't kill anything in Chris's turn. Yep. He's going to get the extra um, points here, um, which should leave the score at this. I believe I've got ahead of myself here. Yep. So it should be... There we go. So that is the current scores on the doors. Um, obviously, if Chris does keep up his record uh, with this turn, he is going to get an extra four points for Kilmore. His um, record of and then killing he, more. He needs to uh, catch enemy outposts and investigate signals. So oh. this is one of the biggest strengths with armies like this, with, yeah. with the Grey Knights, with taking units off the board. Yeah, yeah. It's investigate signals is so easy to do. And it isn't a detriment to you in the grand scheme of things because it's not a case of you have to put a unit down and it stays there. It's yeah. you can put a unit down and take it back off. Right. Um, so... It's a very, very strong ability. To be, it's so nice, yeah. I mean, investigate signals you can score eight from as well if you do all four corners. Wow. Um, which is very hard to do, by the way. But <laughs> yeah. for this army... For Grey Knights. Yeah. So like, but oh, if it, give me the, some of that. At this point of the game, he has lost a lot of assets. Yeah. And so has Jake. It's been a brutal game so far. Let us know in the comments, guys, if you're enjoying the game. Um, obviously, that's what we're here for. <laughs> um, what? What? <laughs> Uh, Yumongunda said uh, this matchup is so hard for Eldar it is for this list as well I think yeah. it's not even just the matchups of the armies it's the um, the game itself Purge the Foe is a very very difficult um, mission for multiple small unit um, armies no so, definitely I can see that yeah um, yeah um, so uh, Karen Ellen said to any Dark Angel players points updated on the Munitorum for post codex um can't say the last bits, but <laughs> basically, um, yeah, if you didn't know and you play Dark Angels, they have updated the Munitor and Field Manual. Cool. Um, so basically, the points are different from in the Codex, um, which I'm pretty sure we all probably expected. But I didn't. You didn't? No. Well, now you know. 
wow, wow. <laughs> um, I think the only thing that actually went up was the Raven Wing Command Squad. Oh, what? Um, so everything else is basically balanced data slate points. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah. If you didn't know that, go check it out on GW's website on uh, Warhammer Community, and you'll be able to um, to ch check them out. Has anyone been running the Dark Angels detachments? I'm curious. Uh, the Codex is out this weekend. Oh. Yeah. So No one. <laughs> some people, The people who got the Deathwing um, assault box uh, yeah. will have the Codex. Right, okay. But the Codex for is general sale is on pre-order at the moment mm. and will be out in shops this Saturday. You can tell I'm not up to date with these Yeah, things. so... <laughs> So people do have access to the codex, yeah. but it's not out generally for everyone. Um, right. But it will be on Saturday. Um, so yeah, yeah. I like uh, earlier people compared the um, Death Jester to Obi Wan Kenobi for having the high ground. Yeah, I think someone asked something about the um, rule plunging fire. I believe. Do you know plunging fire? Yeah, when what you're about like it? higher up. What does it do? So mm -hmm. if you're, I believe, if you're on a terrain piece of six inches or higher. Um, you will get an extra bit of AP. So as long as as long as you are going uh, six inches or higher above from the the target or just from ground from ground okay from the ground you'll get an extra bit of AP. So if, so it doesn't matter if you're both six inches above the ground then you and the person you're shooting. Yeah, you just get a plunge and fire. Oh, yeah, interesting. But to be honest, there's not many. If you're playing the traditional UKTC, there's only one building which is your home. Yeah. building your home and because of the way that the buildings work you wouldn't be able to um shoot to the other side of the board because of um obscuring yeah so you would never be able to shoot at something that's six inches or higher as well because of the way that the boards are set up but that's uktc obviously is um it's different depending on what what's happening um so good morning from australia we'll have to go back and catch the start coffee first though yep definitely go get that coffee uh, our target has to be on the ground level. Yeah, because it wouldn't. Yeah. Be, it's a bit weird, right? Plunging. Yeah. How are you like getting a bonus for shooting someone just because you're both in a building? <laughs> you could shoot the bullet in the air and it drops. Oh yeah, you're right. Like yeah, wanted, yeah. like the trajectory. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, at that point, you just be able to do that anywhere, right? It doesn't yeah, matter. Exactly. In... <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, exactly. Uh, Savior. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Thank you for answering that. Um, hope that helps, um, Carl. Um, yeah. So in terms of the game, though, um, obviously Chris has got to go back and take his home objectives from those wraith blades. Yeah, and um, uh, also take that objective from. So it looks like he's done it. Left, to be honest, he's already, he's, he's already done. done it. Um. Um, so what a draw for tactical! It looks like they're done. So uh, we'll head over and see what's going on. Yeah. Okay. So we've done some stuff. We've done some movement. Um, I got overwatched. It hurt. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so I overwatched the terminators in the corner. I got five dev wounds. Seven normal wounds, passed all of those, so I didn't get to kill two Terminators, but still one on a wound, one full. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're very, kill. very nearly yeah. dead, yeah. Um, you've got no CP left, so there's no running away. This is the time of the game where you're going to kind of close, close the net. Um, Crow is walking menacingly towards some Rangers. <laughs> yeah. um, I've dropped him within three inches of the support weapon platform. Um, I'm not on the objective yet um, because of, as Jake said, size of the base, yeah. but I use their kind of secondary move after I shoot to get on there. Currently deciding which character I'm going to try and take some shots at. Still haven't really worked that out. The Paladins have dropped in over here with Drago, so they're nine inches away, but they'll need a 6-2 charge because of Drago's ability to add three to a charge. The other Dread Knight's coming around. He's getting stuck in. He's getting involved. Um, I don't believe that I will be able to kill this unit. Um, you just need to get it down I, I need enough, to stop basically. you yeah. having options in your next turn, yeah. basically. Um, yeah, so that being said, let's move into the shooting phase. We've got Dead Terminator there. Um, I think we're going to start with my favourite librarian. Um, and he is going to look at this unit here very menacingly. <laughs> see if it can just one-shot it. So... So oh, he does no. D6 wounds to his own unit. Is it D6 or D3? D6. Oh, wow. Oh, God. So I've done three wounds to my own unit. You do get the feel no pain against the mortal wounds because it is a psychic it's a ability. Psychic, yeah. So three four ups. I got all cocky then, didn't I? Oh, so, oh. so nothing happened. But the well, it didn't, it didn't work, yeah. But it was, you know, it was, it was exciting. The other thing to note, these guys are minus one to hit because I did hit them with a D cannon. You did. Um, I oh, do not like been. being hit by D cannons, but... Okay. Not much you can know, do about that. I don't really know anyone that does. Really. <laughs> um, they'll shoot all their bolters now at the same guys. So 
got two regular dudes left, plus a librarian. Yeah. Uh, so I made that 12 oh, shots. Say fours to hit. Threes to hit, I'm too... Oh, because you're teased. Because I'm, I'm a paladin. Yeah. So that was quite impactful there. The minus one to hit. Yeah. And then uh, threes, threes to uh, so then Close four up. ups. So I'll take them on the X arc first. Okay. Four ups. Uh, so one dies, one's um, two dies. So the X arc die. dies and he dies. So I'll go this guy. Don't worry, guys. I'll take the bullet. No, no. And then <laughs> this guy will die. Uh, Castle and Crow will shoot the Rangers. Um, so Stormbolt to first of all. Uh, so four hits, threes, four regular saves. Uh, these are just uh, why not. Uh, and then he will use a psychic attack. So three attacks, three hits, uh, two more saves, AP1. Uh, uh, oh, not nearly. <laughs> Almost. So he's dead, so that's enough. Nice. Yeah. So you've definitely got to kill more. they definitely got to kill more. Unless One I play. pull off like, some miracle. Just, like, yeah, I mean, something me. could happen here. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to shoot this unit here. Mm -hmm. So I'll use a heavy silencer first because he's got a guy in a wound. Is this the Dread Knight? The Dread Knight, yes. Um, so these hit on threes, sustained one. So two come back in. Nice, and then this and will be misses. on T7. So I'm winning on fives. Yeah. Uh, just a three, regular saves. So two plus. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, now the Heavy Psy Cannon, which hits on threes. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. But they are flat three. Yeah. And they are flat three, yeah. yeah. So oh, we, oh, that would have been oh. given this. <laughs> that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Uh, and then this would be three. It's now four. Yeah. Oh. Okay. AP scores. two, ignoring cover. Uh, so four. Uh, so two dive from that. So I'll take your dead one. one here. This guy make my charge a bit longer. Yeah. So it should make it like I don't know. We'll have to measure. I probably need a seven now instead of a. Come this four to what? To wound. To wound. Why is is there strength ten? Uh, because they're minus, minus one to wound. Ah, that's the trick. Yeah. Oh, and if you could just pass me the wound marker so we don't get confused, yeah. thank you. Um, over, they've gone. So the interceptors, I'm just going to shoot the guy on top because he's really, the death jester. he's really upsetting me. <laughs> the, yeah. the, the DJ. The DJ. So yeah, that my is. My friend, I need to see if he's minus ones are here. I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, yeah, you, you can go for it. Um, he isn't minus one to hit, he is just low knock. Okay, so I'm hitting you on threes. And then wounding you on threes. There you go. Have some dice, my friend. So, four ups. He's alive on a wound. I don't think... Yeah, he is. Why is he, why is he more wounds than a solitaire? <laughs> Because he's well hard. Because he's well hard. He's got a big rock. He's a they DJ. But so does the shot. solitaire. Oh. And then these will scoot onto here. What is going on back there? Just giggly ghost things. I don't giggly know. ghost things. Um, so, charges thanks. My Vindicare can't see anything. This Vindicare is 80 wasted points. Yeah, should have been a Calibus. <laughs> it should always have been a Calibus. It should always it's be. Always oh, he, I do be like the Eversaw as well, admittedly. But, yeah, I just yeah. thought he's cool. He's my favourite He does. One. He is a baller. I do like him. Um, um, so, charges. First of all, Drago's unit. Yeah, so, so it would have been a six. It would have been a six. I think it is now a seven. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a seven. So, need a seven. Oh, that's an yeah, 11. That's like a 40. <laughs> That'll do well, quite nicely. rest in peace, Wraith Blades. <laughs> well, I don't think they're going to kill them, um, but what they are going to do is pin them in place. Hurt their feelings. Oh, actually. Do these guys get the lethal on the charge, or is that the normal That's terminators? The terminators? That's the terminators. So these guys hit on twos. Yeah. They just hit on twos. And they're, mi and they're minus one to win the, when they've the got a character. The main thing for me here is that um, they're going to be... Um, you're going to be winning me on sixes, except with Drago, of course. But... Yeah, and I'm probably going to precision out your character. Yeah, which is fair. He is annoying. He so I've got nuisance. one CP. I can either use it to tank shock here, which yeah. I'm not going to. I'm going to use it on... Just bear in mind, when you use the strat for precision, you still do the wounds against the unit. You just have the precision rule. So you're okay. still going to be yeah. winning me on... Well, Drago will be It will be Drago, force, yeah. But... Uh, well, he's strength just... eight, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you'll be winning me on fours with Drago. Charges. And then the Rome. big Dreadnoughts in. 
Okay, um, I've got one more charge over there. The Paladins. Into my wall. Oh, <laughs> there. everyone wants it. Everyone's getting some today. They're still minus one to hit? Uh, yeah, it just says minus one to hit. Gotcha. Mm. Well, let's do the important one first here. So I'm going to spend my CPU to pick up the old precision keyword with Kaldor Drago. Good old Drago. So that's uh, using Epic Challenger. It is. Now, unless Wraith Blades happen to be demons. No. <laughs> that would have been lovely. Are you sure about that? Big spirits in armour. Is yeah. it Fortune on the Wraith Blades? Yeah. 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 So, hitting on twos. Yep. Okay. And then fours to wound. But then these go on, you can make these go on the guy. So two, so they will both go on to your uh, thing. And how much damage is Drago? Three. Three. Okay, so I'll take both of these at the same time because he only has Three four wounds. wounds. So... Okay, so he's dead anyway. No coming back for so you. So they now can't bring a dude back and they're minus, they're essentially back to hit on fours, no lethal. And no more minus one to wound. No, no, that was from the far side. That just was not happening anyway. Oh, that's anyway, a spell, so, okay, yeah, sorry. They were too far away now. Okay. Because the far is here. So the paladins oh, no. get four attacks um, He will get the unit rule though, so I'll just we'll see cool. if he gets to fight. No. <laughs> Three, four. So these are going to hit you on twos. Yeah. And we'll be on sixes. Uh, are you minus one to wind all the way? Yeah. Always? Or... Yeah. Sorry. It's insane. <laughs> that is <laughs> very good, yeah. I don't know why. So sixes. One wound, One AP2. AP2. So four up, and we'll get. And then the uh, Dread Knight. Uh, so they hit. Mm -hmm. uh, Five, fours. Oh, he's strength eight, isn't he? So fours. Yeah. Fours, yeah. yeah. Three wounds. Uh, four ups. Uh, two fail, so D6 damage. So kills one, kills, kills another. another. So do they get to fight? One, One does. does. So I'll put them, they're all going to go into the Paladins. Yeah. Um, I'll just. Do you mind if I just see there? Yeah, just do it now. Get out of the way. So one, two, three. So fours uh, with reroll, and then fours with reroll. So five at minus two, and these are flat two damage each in the paladins. Into the paladins. So so three. One and a bit. So one and a half die. Yeah. Oh, he dies, and I will fish a marker out. I'm happy with that. So yeah, that was just fighting there. I will get to fight the wave server before then. You do, but, yeah. Um, um, but you do have your... Yeah, so I've got eight paladin attacks first of all over there. So hit on threes. Threes now, yeah. I'm hoping I can just try and weather the storm. Uh, uh, three AP2, damage yeah. two. Uh, so five ups. <laughs> uh, so one's... one's I know it's, one's yeah, one's left. left. So then the, the oh, librarian... And four left, didn't they? The Baron hits three times. Okay. Uh, he is strength six, so AT. he wounds you three times. Yeah. Do you want to just um, run my saves? Yeah, these are only AP1, though. Yeah, four ups. <laughs> one damage. Oh, is he? Oh, no, one? two damage, two oh, damage, okay. yeah. So we oh, actually, we there's, only one, there's only one wound there anyway, so. Okay. Cool. Then... Oh, sorry, I didn't charge with Drago. Um, Drago's, oh, yeah, Dra Drago's trying to charge the platform. Uh, he needs a ten. That's a six. That is not. Can't insane. change the past. Um, so you fight here. Right, go on, Wave Serpent. Oh, oh. hello. Go on, Wave Serpent. We're With a reroll, three saves. Roll one, one, please. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm asking you shall receive, and I'm not going to pile into you. Which yeah. you still get to fight yeah, anyway. I'll pile into you. It's just I don't. Yeah. Particularly you don't have to. Be on there. So hitting on threes. We can test. <laughs> And then I must win you on, on strength six, so fives. Yeah. But two uh, saves, AP two, damage two. So five ups. Yeah, I don't have any dice in there. No, he's dead. So he's dead. Where's he blow? No. Cool. So that is that. These Eldar are just dropping like flies. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have anything left, Yeah, so. I mean, I, I think that was quite a decisive yeah. time. We, um, we can talk it out if you want. Um, no, I'll still, I'll still yeah. do it. We've got time, so... Yeah, um, I want to see if I, uh, I can get as many points as possible. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, sweeping Hawks Donald's. will go back uh, in the sky. Um, cards wise. Um, sorry, did, so you score enemy outpost. So I capture enemy outpost. So you get and I'm enemy getting outpost rid of investigate signals yeah. for a CP. Cool, so. And then going into my turn, I won't hold any, um, but I will. You, you test for these guys. Oh, yeah, battle shot for them. They're fine. 
Um, cards wise, so the Swim Hawks are not on the table. Defend Stronghold, deploy Teleport Homers. I'm going to pay a CP to bin off Defend Stronghold. Yeah. Okay, nice. And get Cleanse, which I. Well, now I'm going to go deploy Teleport Homers with them. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get Cleanse. Presume. He's, who's got an assault weapon? No one got an assault weapon. Just so I can talk about maximum map points. So I go. Where is it? Uh, I think your pistols might be assault. Sorry, Jake. Did you say you scored anything at the start of the turn? No, no. Um, the <laughs> the Sparse here does actually have an assault a pistol. assault pistol. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the one in my fate pool to a six, so I can run twelve <laughs> to get onto here to cleanse. Nice. I like it. So that will get me another three. Wow. And then I'm just going to try and shoot stuff just to try and get kill. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I, I will roll for all these back. There is room there, so I don't have to. Like they... You can shoot me anyway, but yeah. it's just in case. Um, so yeah, I'll get cleanse and hate. They... So can they charge now? No, no, no. Okay. no, no. They're literally just falling. But they can't come hunting the uh, <laughs> yeah. assassin. Um, and then shooting wise, I'll put the death gesture into yeah. the strike dudes. I'll go with sustained. Sustained, yeah. Uh, I'll re roll one. And then I'll turn that to a six. Another three. Threes with reroll. So one dev and five at minus two. Isn't the guy dead to turn it to a six? No, no, that's that's the upgrade. Face oh. messenger, yeah. And right. the guy didn't die for that. He's so here. So three died, four oh, died. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. Three died here. That was yeah. a three. And then the dev one, so four. Okay. Then... We shouldn't have got rid of this gentle. Defense stronghold. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, I don't want to kill your characters off. Because I don't want... Yeah, I should have kept defense strong. Yeah, but Clemens gets me guaranteed points, right? Um, I really want to just keep it... I want to wait for Assassinate before... But I think Drago's just going to kill me anyway. So I'll shoot Drago with my D-cannon, and then I'll put the yeah. um, Shuriken Catapult into um, the dude. So into the dude, one it. Oh, can we roll? Yeah, I might as well do it now. Uh, so two wounds into the man, minus one. Into, into the man. Uh, so he's on one wound. Man, the and then D cannon into Drago, or whatever his name is. Crow. 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 One, so hit. one hit. Or one miss. So one shot. Miss, hits with a six. Twos to wound. Um, river re-roll. So two at minus four, but he's going to blank it in that one. So he's fine. So he fails one blank. So I don't know. It, it was only one anyway. Oh, but, okay. um, what I mean is he'll blank it in that one. I'm with you, yeah. Matter. Um, cool, so that just concludes the turn. I'll get five for deploy Televimers and three for Cleanse. And then your turn. I'll pick him up at the end of you'll yours. I'll pick him up. Uh, so then at the start of your turn, you'll get Hold More. Uh, I will, I'll yeah. Battle Shock here. You'll still get it anyway, but Battle Shock here and Battle Shock here. So Battle Shock there. They're fine. And this Under guy, back. he's fine. Cool. Cool, so I don't get it there, so I hold one, two, so three. You, yep, so you'll get Hold More. Um, I killed... No units? Yeah, because he's on a wound. Yeah, he's he's still alive. Yeah. Um, he'll move over there. Yeah. Oh, let me see what I actually draw first. Oh. Just in case. Maybe a deploy would be nice. Defend Stronghold and Storm Hostile. Okay, so you've got to get an objective off me, which you can now actually do, because I got this back off you, because I'm OC2. Brilliant. That's, so that, that works out well. That did work out well. I enjoyed yeah. that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he'll move there. He's not loan up, is he? No. Chris, I love how you're just holding that chair in your hands like, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> my boy, my boy, my newly improved boy. Um, they are, they, I really like that. Dread, Dread Knight's now. The, the hammer option, I think, is a lot better. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got four. Yeah, no, all with got swords. swords. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Magnets were not invented back when Chris. But the Sorry, problem was, Chris. I started magnetising stuff. Yeah. Well, they're all guns are nicely magnetised. The hammers were a bit harder to magnetise. Ne never thought about it, because I built them in ninth and swords are better in ninth. Yeah. So. The hammers are the, the don now. The don. Um, he'll just go nine away from your man up there. Cool. Um, Chris, sorry, you've got uh, Storm Hostile and what was defend it? Defend Stronghold. Defend. Yeah, so you're going to get Defend. It's yeah. just the case of... Um, shooting Phase. Uh, sorry, Phantasm. I'll Phantasm the Farseer, two inches. Boom. It does just... A D6. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Actually, no, he but he can hide from the shooting of the Librarian. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He's lone up as well, isn't he? So he I can't is, do anything yeah. there. Oh, I'm ruining my fun with Librarian. <laughs> I, um, just, I just want... I just want to. I just want to score points. I don't even know how many secondary points I've got. Eight, 
10. Do you want to know? 13, 5. I should have 18, You can score four more, mate. Eight, yeah. Oh, so I just need to score four more. I just need to get a signal. Paladins are going to shoot you over here. Yeah, into the sweeping hawks. Sweeping hawks, yeah. yeah. Threes. Threes. Only three. Uh, yeah, so four up. Uh, one dead. So I'll just take the closest uh, to you. Thank you. Um, the assassin will shoot them. Hit. Uh, one devved. Oh, yeah, <laughs> dev this is one dead. To bits. <laughs> Whoop. Uh, the Votan guy will shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joffrey will give it a go, yeah. Uh, yes. Don't know, that's casino cannon it, yeah. <laughs> Joffrey's got a mini casino cannon. Uh, this guy's going to shoot everything at your guy. You've got one win left. Do you want me to roll it on that? I don't know. We've not yeah. got anywhere to go. <laughs> what are you talking about? We've got McDonald's to I'm go James, to. No, 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 here we are. <laughs> he's dead, Chris. Chris no, I, I hit you five times. I hit you five times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I wounded you four. Four. AP2, ignoring cover. No, he's dead. <laughs> so he's gone. Uh, Crow charge? Uh, Crow will charge there. Uh, on an eight. In, in top ten shots. And today. we'll charge here as well. Yeah. There we go. Very good. Very good. Right. Uh, I know we're rattling through this quite quickly, guys, but there's, like, nothing we can really do. We just want to end score. <laughs> so... It's, it's a shame. shame. Uh, DJ Kenobi could not hold the high ground. No, he didn't. DJ Kenobi is He did dumb not. Fall. DJ Kenobi did not do a very good job of that. So you still minus one to win here? Uh, no, no, not at all. The all last right. here was like all the way over here <laughs> in my turn. So Titan Sword then. Six attacks, hitting on twos. We've hit yeah. They all hit. Uh, wounding me on threes. Uh, I am strength eight, yeah. yeah. Oh, you should have gone with that sweet dev. Uh, for TCP. Yeah. Fours. Uh, they're all dead anyway. Drago Ooh. kills them all. Drago nice. is all, uh, he And kills Castle and Crow gets five attacks. Yeah. Uh, strength six, so uh, fours. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, no, they, they only toughness um, uh, five, so three. So two saves and then two dev. dev. So all dead. It's dead. Oh, my poor D cannons. I don't know the hype about them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, so... That's good. Going, so I score both, so I yeah, get three for defend. Oh, I think that actually happens in my next... It will, yeah. At the end of your turn, And sorry. then you get Storm for five. Yep. Yeah. And going into my turn, Assassination, A-Rolling Force. Um, Go on, who are you trying to kill? This is the only one that's even... Dre, Crow, Oh, yeah, he's... Crow, 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 Crow. Get Joffrey. No. <laughs> I got uh, two. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I can do. I don't actually think I can get any of those cards, to be honest. Um, and you've already done the. Yeah, I've already refreshed on that. So yeah, just. I'll just, yeah, I'll just end my turn. Yeah. Sack them off. Was that turn five? That is turn five. So now it's your turn five. So you're going to get hold more. Oh, I would take the sweeping hawk off the table. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and then tempting pass target. Pass the sweeping hawk here. Tempting target. And I'll put him back. Like as far away. Well, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna grab me. Just pick up that yeah. lone intercept at the end him. of the turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and assassinate. So he'll come here. Um, yeah, I'll shoot <laughs> and move him there. To pick yeah. up. I'm assuming that's the only tempting target. Some stuff. Oh the yeah, others. yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll just yeah that yeah, one. Yeah. There we are. So I scored that. Cool. Well, you could maybe get assassinate if you like. All you have to do is just pick. You would have picked. Well, he can move eighteen. Yeah, he moves so he'll there. Go there. So no matter what, if you angle your base like this, I can't actually phantasm anywhere that will get me away from him. Yeah. So and you then... either. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I I can fall on my sword. Chris. Yeah, because if you come round. But you didn't table me. <laughs> so I didn't I table this. you. Jake, have mercy. good game. Good game, mate. Nothing... I always enjoy this. Yeah. Um, even more so when I'm heavily advantaged in the matchup. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's not about fair. It's not about balance. <laughs> you it's... finally conquered your Eldar demon. I conquered yeah. my guard demon. <laughs> well, after what happened to me at the weekend, yeah. um, I got Eldar'd very hard. This is this was hurt. this was yeah. similar to my when my first event after playing guard, after I played guard, and then played you know a proper yeah. guard army. We played properly, and um, he um, <laughs> like yeah, like I just was like, I like, killed everything. Um, yeah, no, it was good. No, right, thank you, Jake. what was the score to just put us out of our misery? Right, so Jake, you got sixty-two points. 
Oh. What's the point? Um, <laughs> and Chris, you got 99. Where did I drop a point? Just the secondary. Uh, secondary. Presume. Secondaries. Oh. If you got... Is that including him getting tempted to target and assassinate? Yes. Okay. Well, good game. Yeah, good game. I really I wish that. I got 69, because then we would have Yeah, because then you would have won. Yeah, exactly. Um, but cause, guys, cause that's the rules. thank you so much for joining us. We're sorry that, obviously, it was just a 10 for your conclusion. Uh, You're sorry. How no, I'm, you know, just I'm for, not sorry. More for the viewers. Um, yeah, I think the main thing, mission matchup wasn't the yeah, best. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> like, so uh, hold one, hold more, kill one, kill more. Yeah, when I've got... So swingy. Thing is, I don't have... It's not the fact of me having a lot of units. It's just the fact that they're so easy to pick up. Yeah, and, um, and you can be more restrained than I was if you really want to make sure that you yeah. get the kill more each turn. Yeah, it would have been interesting if we swapped and I went... You went first. I went, yeah. Because the big one was picking up all the units and one. doing all yeah. the sort of shenanigans and stuff. But yeah, no, it was interesting. Yeah. Um, and a food for thought, I guess. But yeah, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, massive thank you to Play on Tabletop for all of the sort of inspiration you've given Steve and all of the support. If you want, guys want to check out Play on Tabletop, uh, if you don't know their channel, fantastic Somehow. channel, fantastic cinematography there. Um, and don't forget to join the Academy. And don't forget to 20, join the Academy. 25 spaces. 25 spaces, hopefully less by the end of this stream. Um, but you have till Sunday. So Sunday is the last day you can sign up. So if you're on the fence about it, just go for it. There is a 30-day money-back guarantee if you are not a fan. And on top of that as well, if you are like myself and not fortunate enough to be able to maybe spend so much in one go, you can pay in four, which is great. And, and also... And Steve said that if we don't sell any during the stream, then we get publicly flogged in the car park outside. Yeah, yeah. so, so do it for us. And the thing is, there isn't a car park outside, right? <laughs> so it's going to be... It's just gravel. Brutal. It's just gravel. <laughs> yeah. And Steve also, I think, is doing a call on Saturday. That could be yeah. That. So if you got, you know, if you want to know more about it, we've got the videos on the channel. We've got um, stu many students could probably, you know, give a testimonial there as well. And Steve is doing a Zoom call on Saturday, all of which you can check out in the link in the description. Or if you need to email anybody, all the relevant emails I presume are there as well. Yeah, Stephen at Vanguard Tactics. Yeah, awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on another live stream very soon. <laughs>